Yeah, teams are out uh, on the field here. Uh, a wonderful atmosphere, a real cauldron of noise at Elland Road. Absolutely spectacular, looking round, looking at those Leeds fans with the scarves held high aloft, horizontally above their heads. It's quite an atmosphere. There aren't many places like this in the Championship, are there, Mark? Let's just no. pick up on the point. I think we, the, everyone lost us a moment ago. Maybe the noise and the, the atmosphere uh, knocked us off the air, but... How different is this for Max Aaron, Ben Godfrey, Jamal Lewis, these young players who have done well this season, but they've not stepped out in many places like this? No, they haven't. Uh, this is probably one of the most intimidating grounds you'll ever play at. Um, I've played here quite a few times, and every time you're thinking the fans are going to run on the pitch in a minute, you know, it's that intimidating, it really is, and it's always a fantastic atmosphere. So these young lads are going to have to step up, they're going to have to... To, to really man up as well, become become men, not kids like they are, uh, and really put a shift in and, and be brave and strong and you know and, and look after each other because it is an intimidating ground, but also for the home team it's intimidating. I can remember playing here that, um, and I, there was a lad here that we used to play with, and he was saying, "God, every time we cut step out of here, we're getting booed, we're getting cheered. We, we don't know which way way to turn because they're so fickle and they're so passionate." Uh, and he said, even even he said it's a hard place to play at for a home team. So they're going to have to sort of like, you know, take what they can from that uh, and just get the best foot forward and, and really apply the pressure and get the fans to turn on the home team because they will do. There's about uh, two and a half thousand Norwich fans here and uh, we're in the perfect place to, to hear them because we are in the gantry here. Uh, high above where the Norwich fans are placed. They're towards one side, almost, you know, how they are at Carrow Road in the south stand, towards one side of the ground. It's the uh, image of that here at Elland Road. So that means that as we look out, all we can see are Leeds fans, about 40,000 of them all the way around, sweeping round three sides of the ground. It's an absolutely spectacular sight, and um, make no mistake, this is a big game. Uh, we were billing it as first against second. It's actually first against third now because Sheffield United have won against Bolton and pushed Norwich down to third place. But they'll hope that's only a brief uh, little spell outside the top two. Before this game gets underway, uh, the two, two teams are going to come together around the centre circle and we're going to have a tribute to two young supporters, one Leeds fan called Toby Nye and one Norwich fan, one young Norwich fan called Sophie Taylor who have both very sadly recently uh, died after... Bravely struggling with that illness for a long time. Their, their plights have touched the hearts of fans of these two clubs. And Leeds and Norwich City are supporters are going to come together before the start of this game to remember two young fans who sadly are not here to watch this one today. Toby Knight, the Leeds supporter, and young Sophie Taylor from Norfolk. It's just being set up by the public address system here. Toby Knight's name is flashing up on uh, the advertising hoardings around the ground. The two sets of players are standing around the centre circle applauding and we're going to have a minute's applause for those two young fans now. draw around Elland Road at the end of that moment's applause for two young supporters who um, we were treated to pictures of on the big screen in the corner of the ground both Toby Nye the Leeds fan and Sophie Taylor the Norwich fan had escorted their heroes out onto the pitch in recent seasons we saw a picture on the big screen of Sophie Taylor being carried out at Carrow Road by James Madison uh, during last season uh, also the Leeds fans remembering their former player Phil Masinga the South African who's uh, also recently died the players now break off into their respective halves of the field Talk about a big game atmosphere, talk about a retro atmosphere. I can see Tim Krull just clearing some ticker tape from in his goal. It's a long time since I've seen that thrown onto the pitch in a game. Tim Krull has sorted that out, and I think we're just about ready. What a noise. 
at the start of this top of the table championship clash. I'll remind you of the team news when we get a moment. But it's Norwich in their yellow and green who will kick us off at Elland Road. They'll be going from right to left as we look at it. There's a false start here because Enel Hernandez had got excited and run off into the Leeds half long before the kickoff was taken. So we'll have to start again. And eventually Marco Stiefelman will get the go ahead and off we go. Huge roar again from both sets of supporters for the start of this game. Norwich City with Stiefman heading it on towards Puki. He turns it towards Onel Hernandez on the left-hand side. Leeds have cleared already, and straight away they try to come at Norwich with a direct ball that has sailed out of play for a throw-in in the Norwich left-back position. Norwich with crawling goal, if you haven't heard the team. Aaron Zimmerman, Godfrey and Lewis, the defenders. Tribal, Vrancic and Stiefman in midfield. Wendia and Hernandez wide, Puki up front. Alex Tetti back, but only on the substitutes bench. Header on by Stiefman towards the halfway line. Uh, a touch there from Luke Ayling, the Leeds right back, and it's Cooper, the big defender, who launches it forward. Uh, and then they look for Pablo Hernandez on the left hand side. He gathers, works it to Alioski, the full back, uh, who goes down. That's a free kick to Leeds on halfway. Their team, Kiko Casilla in goal, who they recently signed from Real Madrid. A back four of Ayling, Cooper, Jansen, and Alioski. Alioski, they were stayed down after that foul. He's uh, filling in at left back at the moment. Horshaw is their holding midfielder. They'll have Cleek and Roberts in front of him. Pablo Hernandez on the right, uh, they'll play with Harrison on the left-hand side, uh, Jack Harrison that is, and Kimar Roof up front, he's got 14 goals this season. Alioski's picked himself up, he's OK, and Leeds have the first set piece of the game. Over on the far side, their left, just inside the Norwich half. And, uh, we'll get Mark Rivers' thoughts on the Norwich team in a moment, and whether he would have brought Tetti back in as Leeds hit it forward, Cooper heads it down, calls for Ailing on the edge of the penalty area, can't quite get the shot away, comes out of the box, shot from distance, goes wide. Uh, Click trying his luck there from a long, long way out. In the end, it was well wide, but uh, that leads not backwards and coming forwards in these uh, opening 90 seconds or so, Mark Rivers. No, they're certainly not, and uh, they're looking to pressure high, and that's a mistake by Crow. Yeah, Norwich... But, yeah, uh, I mean, it's all been in Norwich's half at the minute, and, you know, Leeds are an aggressive team, they're a very sort of high-pressing team, you know, just a bit like Norwich have been, you know, press the ball high. So it's, it's going to be a, a pretty intense game, but... Yeah, I think I, I might have played Teddy today, if I'm honest. Signs of nerves on the back there, the short goal kick taken by Krull and Godfrey knocking it back to him and Krull rushing the ball out of play for a throw-in. Early test for Ben Godfrey, who's a Yorkshire boy, it will mean a lot to him starting out there today. Leeds win possession on halfway, Pablo Hernandez volleys the ball back into his own half, it's again Elioski who picks the ball up, player who is uh, recovered from that knock he took a little bit earlier on. Roberts plays the ball to the left-hand side and Leeds come forward, it's crossed into the Norwich penalty area, Godfrey is there to clear towards the halfway line where Puki battles for it, appeals uh, for a free kick uh, after the challenge by Cooper, referee Stuart Atwell's not interested and Leeds have possession back inside their own half with Cooper uh, then Stiefman gets a touch on it and Norwich have won it back on halfway Tribal though is hustled off the ball before he could really get it under control and Tyler Roberts drives forward Norwich under big pressure here, it comes to Harrison right edge of the penalty, I guess his left foot, low shot uh, straight at Tim Krul in the end, no great power on it but Leeds United trying to get forward and take the game to Norwich at every opportunity in the opening three minutes. It's nil-nil. Yeah, they are. And, uh, it looks like this uh, right winger Harrison is, is, is left forward. He's going to cut in and shoot. Uh, you know, every opportunity. So they have to be wary of that. But Norwich have just got to get a bit of a bit of a foot on the game. But that's, that's good turn. Now, clever turn from Onel Hernandez. He races forward, but then takes a poor touch, and that allows uh, Liam Cooper to come in and steal the ball away from him. Uh, every Norwich touch being booed by the lead supporters. The not that this game needed any hyping up, but the fact that Norwich City have uh, admitted they're one of the teams that have complained to the Football League about Leeds spying tactics. Just did add a bit of spice to this one. And Stiefman looks for Puki. Puki trying to bring it under control, but can't. Leeds bring it away. Great challenge there from Vrancic. And from it, he's found Onel Hernandez, 25 yards from goal. Hernandez is bundled over. Norwich have a free kick here in an excellent position. 25 yards out, just to the right of centre. Superb tackle from Vrancic, and yeah. it was a tackle and a pass at the same time. Well, I was just about to say uh, a point before about Teddy coming in, but if Vrancic keeps tackling like that, we don't need him because that was that was a proper good tackle and it turned into an excellent pass, and uh, I, this is a brilliant position for a free kick. I think that's why Teddy hasn't got in, because Tribal and uh, and Vrancic have done a good job in the last yeah. couple of games. Well, I mean, the, on, the only reason I was going to say I'd, I'd have Teddy in is, is literally because of the inexperience of the back four, but... Uh, just for him to, to have that experience, but watching Vrancic get in and challenge for that ball there, it's, uh, that, was a, that was a fantastic challenge, it really was. Well, this is a free kick in a great position for Norwich City. You can hear the fans below us anticipating an early chance here. Four and a half minutes gone, nil-nil, 
if you're going to place the ball for a free kick, it wouldn't be far away from that blade of grass, just to the right no, of centre. Buendia and Vrancic standing over it, everyone back for Leeds. Is this an early chance for Norwich City? Vrancic up to the ball, takes the free kick, and it's it there! What a start for Norwich City! Super Mario gives them a flyer at Elland Road! A terrific free kick from Vrancic, it may have got a deflection, but it was beyond the goalkeeper Casilla, who used to play for Real Madrid, but he couldn't stop that, and the Canaries have made the perfect start. Five minutes gone, it's Leeds nil, Norwich City won. Well, it was his tackle that set that move up, and he's finished it off. It was uh, it did take a deflection, quite a heavy deflection actually, but uh, it was a decent strike, and had enough pace to loop, loop over the uh, Casillas in goal, so a brilliant start for Norwich. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, they're on, on the back foot. A to start with, start. what's the finish? Yeah, brilliant from Vrancic. Norwich fans underneath us going absolutely crazy with that one. It's at the far end of the ground from where they are, but wow, that sailed perfectly into the top corner. It did take a deflection. Vrancic has his sixth of the season. It's only the second one he's got away from Carrow Road, but well, he's been the man of the first five minutes, hasn't he? A wonderful <laughs> tackle from it. Yeah. They win a free kick, and he, he could not have no. well, taken that any better. It was brilliant, it really was. I mean, it, it's all been down to him, that goal, from the, from the minute he tackled. Hernandez getting bundled over and a fantastic free kick that, that did take a deflection, quite a hefty one, but uh, it's definitely his goal and it ended up in the top corner, so we're one nil up. Oh. Perfect start. That may settle the nerves. As Norwich get a free kick hit, foul on Tom Tribal. Leeds, you could see, had tried to get at Norwich from the start here, but they hadn't bargained for that. Vrancic sliding in, winning a tackle. Hernandez was then fouled. And the free kick from Vrancic deflected into the top corner and the Norwich fans loving it at the moment still early on in the game though Buendia finds Onel Hernandez back to Buendia who races up to the edge of the area tees up Onel Hernandez who bursts into the box turns can he get the shot away he tees up here Buendia who tries to turn now Steepman uh, Steepman just with a heavy touch though and that takes it through to the goalkeeper and behind Corner. it goes and uh, a goal kick is given been. yeah uh, it was a bit of a scramble in the penalty area it, it's ended up as a goal kick and actually if Steepman's first touch had been better there yeah. he might have got a shot in bit of a poor touch but I was I was wanting Hernandez to shoot he'd done ever so well and then he twisted and turned and cut back in and then went over to Buendia and then over to Deeperman. I was just wishing for someone to shoot because uh, they were in perfect spot. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought that was a corner. Well, just couldn't quite get it away in, no, in a shooting position there. Now Leeds try to respond. Yeah. That ball's going to be too far in front of Kimar Rufo, who comes out to the right wing, can't keep it in play. It's a throw in. Dream start for Norwich City. 1-0 up at Elland Road. Terrific free kick from Mario Vrancic, who... I suppose with Teti back today, it was one of those players whose position yeah. might have been vulnerable, but the managers kept faith with him, and you, can see, why. <laughs> yeah, you can see why. Branchich has I've just really seen, kicked I've on just this seen season. Barker have a go at Stephen actually saying, have a shot, have a shot, he's just said shoot. Um, but obviously we're not on the pitch with him, are we? So we don't know the actual angle he was under, but uh, we are just praying for a bit of a shot at the other end, it could have been two now. That wasn't so clever from Branchich, he's put the ball out for a throw in. Level with his own penalty area. Ailing, the ponytail leads right back, will take it. Harrison now on this right hand side, plays it in field. Tribal should intercept for Norwich, he hasn't. And here comes Tyler Roberts towards the edge of the area. Curling shot from him, straight at Tim Krul, who pats it down into the ground and gathers at the second attempt. Tribal a little slow to react there, though, on yeah. the edge of his own box. He's done that a couple of times now. He's got the ball, and as a midfielder, you've got to be sharp and quick and, and, and move the ball into space. And both times he's been robbed, so. A little wakey wakey, please, Tom Tribal, because that's twice now. See Marcelo Bielsa sat on that cool bucket down below us. Doesn't sit in the dugout, sits just in front of it. He leaves uh, one of his uh, coaching staff to do the animated bit on the side of the pitch, the clapping of hands, the, the gnashing of teeth as Norwich get a free kick on halfway. Daniel Farker is his own man on the side of the pitch, pointing, shouting, urging his team on. They've given him a great start here. They lead 1 0. Mario Vrancic's free kick. And remember, if Norwich win this game, they go top of the table because. But the size will be level on points. Norwich, though, would have a better goal difference, and they've scored more goals than Leeds as well. So they would be top of the table with a win here. Back it goes to the goalkeeper, Casilla, for Leeds. Scoops it forward. Headed one there by Max Ahrens. Pukki's come out to the right wing to collect. Halfway inside the Leeds half. Clever trick from Pukki. He's found Steepman on the overlap here on the right-hand side. Steepman trying to get the ball in. It's uh, going to be a corner there. This time for Norwich City. Steepman was tackled, and the ball broke behind, and... Norwich, having scored from a free kick, now have an opportunity from a corner. They already lead 1-0, we've played just under 10 minutes on BBC Radio Norfolk. The Leeds are trying to play out from the back all the time, so 
both times they tried to do it, Norwich have pushed them up high and won the ball back. Uh, Pukki's just gone down to ground in the area while we wait for the corner to come in. Referee. Well, you know what it's like in these <laughs> penalty boxes these days. They're always pulling and tugging and grabbing each other's shirts, aren't they? He was hopped straight up in there, yeah. by the Leeds player, but the referee will go over and just make sure that there's no nonsense as this corner comes in. He's got now, look. He's got Aldrin round the waist now. And there will, of course, be some nonsense because there always is. Corner delivered by Norwich from that right-hand side into the penalty area, headed away, but only as far as Lewis, who uh, completely misses the ball. Hernandez doesn't, uh, over the bar from him, though, on the volley from the edge of the penalty area. It sat up, I thought, nicely for Jamal Lewis, but I think he <laughs> saw the headlines there before he uh, caught the ball and completely missed it. And it really did, it was a lovely, it came out to him lovely, but uh, his eye was definitely not on the ball there as he took a massive air shot, but never mind. Well, just sit to defending Jamal, you're good at that. Just one goal for Norwich, of course, Jamal Lewis, that was over a year ago now at Chelsea. He's the only member of the team out there today that hasn't scored yet this season, but that's not what he's on the pitch to do. He's uh, on the pitch to try and stop them, and he does that now inside his own half. Works the ball forward. Leeds get it back, though. Roof heads it on. Lewis clears again, and this time gets good distance on it. Puki will chase. Janssen, the Swedish defender, did he use his hand to control the ball there? Looks a little bit like it to me. Ailing though, has got the ball back to his goalkeeper, Casilla, who played in the Champions League six times for Real Madrid, but even he could do nothing about that free kick from Vrancic into the top corner and the Canaries are in front at Ellen Grove still a lot of football left in this game though here's Harrison on the front foot for Leeds right corner of the penalty area gets down to his left foot curls it across Ono Hernandez blocks headed away by Jamal Lewis but Hernandez helping out in the Norwich left back area but he can't keep that ball in play and it will be a Leeds throw Leeds all in white as you would expect they have the ball with Cleek on the right hand side fires the pass towards Sir Harrison who controls level with the Norwich penalty area trying to cut in here is Harrison getting it onto his left foot, but Lewis looking after him, O'Neill Hernandez as well, but Harrison now gets the pass away, and it's hit towards Ailing, but it's overhit, and will bounce out of play for a throw into Norwich, again in that left-back position, it was uh, Forshaw who was rather trying to rush things forward there, it's 1-0 to Norwich at Elland Road, and all the noise is coming from the Norwich City supporters. Yeah, I mean they will go quietly, Leeds fans, and then start getting angry, the, the longer their team are behind, that's it. It happened all the time when I played. He's attacking. For sure, releases Harrison, who crosses from the right hand side dangerously into the penalty. Alioski's volley, not far wide. The left back made the perfect run into the penalty area there, and he seemed to catch that one nicely, but it okay. whistled across the six yard box and wide of the post. If I was on target, that was a goal because he really did strike that well. It was a good cross in, in, from Harrison, who's very, very left footed, but crossed that right footed, and uh, it was a perfect contact, really, just, uh, just wider than Norwich's goal, thankfully. Yeah, that, might yeah, be, that was a hell of a strike. That's going to be one to watch, I think, Alioski. Where's number 10, uh, which suggests that he is a, a midfielder by trade. That's what he is, but Marcelo Bielsa likes to mix things up a little bit, and he's been playing at left-back in recent weeks, and Bert Lecount's doing a decent job there. And yeah, you can certainly hit the ball, because yeah. that, was, that was, yeah, some strike. When you've got somebody playing at left-back who can attack like that, it, it certainly can be useful. Harrison, who Mark Rivers was just talking about, is on loan from Manchester City, so can't be a bad player if he's involved there. Uh, stretch there from Tribal to get the ball towards the left-hand side. Jamal Lewis looking after it, eventually finding Vrancic, who drives the ball into Leeds territory. It goes out of play off Ailing. Uh, may have gone off play, out of play off the Norwich player, actually, but the decision has gone Norwich's way. You can see Bielsa doesn't like it. The linesman got that right, actually. It did come off the Leeds player. But, yeah, as always, <laughs> when it doesn't go your way, you start shouting and moaning, don't you? It's going to be that sort of evening, every throw in, every free kick, everything is going to be contested, not just by the players on the pitch either, by the crowd and by the coaching staff, but it's Norwich oh, who lead 1-0. Foul by Onel Hernandez on Luke Ayling. The Leeds get on with it quickly, the ball goes back to Kiko Casilla. Well, he's got one cap for Spain, the goalkeeper. Plays the ball out to Cooper, and now Pontus Janssen. He's scored a couple of goals against Norwich in the past. Here's Forshaw, halfway inside his own half brings the ball forward. Leeds likes to keep it on the ground, they like to play it quickly, but they do like to press forward when they can, and they're doing that now. And it's infield to Tyler Roberts here, 25 yards from goal. Kimar Roof, their top scorer, takes it out to the left-hand side, the cross will come into the Norwich penalty area, Oh no, Hernandez doesn't deal with it, uh, Zimmerman does, puts it behind for the corner just as it fell for Kimar Roof uh, in the penalty area. That was a uh, stranger from Oh Hernandez, yeah. it, the ball came into him, and it looked like a fairly simple clearance, but he ended up screwing it back towards his own goal. He did, he tried to side foot it out, uh, and it's one of them where it just hits the bottom of your boot and it's just studs and goes completely the opposite way that you wanted it to go. So uh, luckily Gustav was, uh, was, was lively and awake and, and ready to clear the ball because that was a dangerous situation. 
in the 15th minute, a test for the Norwich defence, corner for Leeds, comes in from the left-hand side dangerously, headed down and away by Godfrey, chopped further away by Buendia, Leeds now gather it, and they come again with Klitsch, who hits it high into the Norwich penalty area, should be easy for Tim Krull to come and get, and is, and Norwich uh, see out the first set-piece of the game. Leading 1-0, Mario Vrancic with a free kick, giving them the perfect start. Not freezing in a cauldron of noise. What a turn that is from Steeperman away from Forshaw on halfway. And he drives towards the edge of the Leeds penalty area. Steeperman still going up to the edge of the box. He goes down looking for a free kick. Nothing given. Daniel Farker pleading with the officials. So is his assistant down there, but nothing's been given. And Norwich have got to go up, get on with it because Leeds are counter-attacking with real purpose. On the left-hand side, it's Pablo Hernandez taking the game to Norwich City. He's got Alioski on the overlap. He tries to play him in now. The cross comes in from Alioski. Low. Norwich deal with it. Uh, Vrancic inside his own penalty area, clears the ball upfield. Gathered by Leeds. That little uh, attack there has just got the home crowd going again. Norwich lead 1-0. It's uh, Janssen who brings it forward. Norwich now sitting deep. Pablo Hernandez, the Spanish player for Leeds, has the ball on the left-hand side. Turns it infield to Forshaw, who intelligently leaves it for Tyler Roberts. Back to Forshaw now, 25 yards from goal, through the middle. Gets a shot in and it goes wide. No deflection, goal kick given. Tim Krull giving his defence the thumbs up there for the work rate they were putting in to make sure that Leeds couldn't get any closer than 25 yards. Mark Rivers, Marco Stiefman a moment ago. Yeah. We, we don't have the benefit of the replays here. A lot of people at home will be watching this on TV and will know more about it than us. But yeah. to me, it looked like he made a lot of it. He did. Uh, initially, it was a beautiful turn from him uh, and a good run forward. But as soon as you start throwing your arms around, the referees don't give you a free kick, and that's exactly why he did it. Initially, if he'd have fell over... You know, just normally, he probably might have got a free kick, but uh, we don't want him cheating anyway. So, uh, good passages of play from both teams. Our leads look dangerous. Fouled by Tribal and Tyler Roberts. The young Welsh international got there just uh, before Tribal and went down, and it's a free kick off inside the Norwich half. I think we've seen a fairly accurate representation of Marco Stiefman so far. We've seen some great stuff, some lovely touches, some good turns, but sometimes when he gets into the opposition penalty area, it's just that final touch where, where it, he, yeah. he lets himself down he ran down a bit of a blind alley there really he'd, he'd done ever so well to start with and then the further he's getting towards Leeds' his goal you know he's running out of options and he didn't have a lot of options in front of him and you know he did, he did really well to cut back onto his left foot but then he, he he did a bit of contact and fell over dangerous for Leeds here though free kick Halfway inside the Norwich half, but an opportunity for them to get pressure into the penalty area. Alioski delivers, crawls off his line, doesn't get there, Zimmerman does, but the shot comes in from outside the penalty area eventually, and it's high over the crossbar. Norwich not particularly dealing with that no. convincingly. Pablo Hernandez it fell to, he was a decent player, the Spanish international, but he got that one all yeah, wrong. Yeah, it was a tricky one, he seemed Tim Crow come out, make a bit of a hash of it, which he did. Uh, luckily it was cleared, but it did fall to the Leeds player, and I think he tried to sort of a little half volley loopy lob type of thing to try and get it over the, the, the Norwich defence and, and crawl that was way out of his goal but you know it's easy to get them wrong and unfortunately he did well this is a match that's living up to all its billing in terms of its intensity Norwich City have risen to the occasion so far they lead 1-0 and we're not quite 18 minutes into it at Elland Road Norwich have some more defending to do now Tribal gets an important touch on that to take it away from Tyler Roberts and the ball breaks out to the Norwich right back position where they'll settle for a throw in Max Ahrens was being chased all the way there. Leeds a little wobbly recently. And they've lost four of their last six matches. Norwich have only lost one of their last 17 in the league. A lot of draws in there for Norwich, but they've kept going. They've got this remarkable away record of only one defeat away from home in the league so far. But they're under pressure here. Leeds have it. Cleek, 25 yards from goal, drives it. To, it's blocked and bounces away. And that will be a Leeds corner, and that just gets the home crowd going again. Yeah, Norwich they, can't afford to put a foot wrong defensively no, in this game. No, they can't, and they're not doing, to be fair. I mean, they're restricting Leeds at the moment to, to long-distance shots, which I'd be happy for them to do that all game, really. You know, we've got a fantastic goalkeeper in goal for us who, who shouldn't really be getting beat unless it's going right in the top corner, so I'm happy for them to keep shooting from outside the box. The I'm not happy for corners, though. The Macedonian, Alioski, comes over to the right-hand side, takes the corner left foot, driven in towards the far post, it's helped on, and Roof can't quite get there, and behind it goes for the goal kick, Pontus Janssen, a real danger from those, I remember yeah, a couple is. of seasons ago he got the winner here uh, for Leeds United in a 1-0 win over Norwich, he also scored at, at Carrow Road as well, uh, last season I think it was he got the winner here actually, he's, yeah, he did, uh, he's yeah. a real threat. He is, he's, he's very good in the air and he's very brave and he sort of throws himself at the ball when it's coming into the box and he's, he's a very 
very, very good attacking defender from corners, so uh, we've, we've really got to watch, uh, watch out for him. 1-0 Norwich Lind. One of those days where Tim Krull, the Dutchman, wearing orange, which seems appropriate in terms of his goalkeeping kit. Norwich can't keep the ball on halfway. Needs just uh, dominating the ball at the moment. And they've got Kleech away on the left-hand side. Level with the penalty here. Godfrey makes a good recovering tackle there and then prevents the corner. It's uh, really interesting how fluid this Leeds yeah. attack is. You've got... Yeah, they, they attack very, very quickly, don't they? You Klitsch. know, a couple of touches and they're away. Ball goes towards the left-hand side. Alioski is there. Not far away from the corner of the Norwich penalty here. A couple of quick passes. Comes to Klitsch. That's a good tackle from Tribal. Really got his foot in there. And the Norwich left-back position. And Zimmerman should clear and does clear. Puki will chase it, but I think that ball's going to come pretty much straight back from Pontus Janssen. But Tribal again goes looking for it in midfield, perhaps a little too eager, and he's allowed Tyler Roberts to turn him and find Harrison on the right-hand side, cutting into the Norwich penalty area now, squeezes the ball through towards Tyler Roberts, blocked off there by Ben Godfrey, looks for some help on the right-hand side from Ailing, but Onel Hernandez, back-tackling for Norwich City, does a good job, needs some help, gets it from Jamal Lewis, who whacks the ball clear. Can Puki look after it here? Puki laying the ball off and being caught by Pontus Janssen as he does so. Free kick to Norwich City on halfway. I think uh, this may be a bit of a thankless uh, evening for Timo Puki. He's going to have to do a lot of that. Ball's knocked up to him and he's going to have to look after it. He is. Uh, it's, it's gonna, it's, make no doubt it's going to be very, very tricky for him. He's up against two big lads there. And the ball, he's not going to see much of it. But when he does, we're going to want him to get hold of it and lay it off to, to a yellow shirt. Just a point on Hernandez and uh, Buendia. That's a good a fantastic ball from back. Vrancic chasing it, but it is, has climbed all over the back of Harrison. And uh, after miscontrolling it with his first touch, it's a free kick to, to Leeds, right-hand side. Yeah, you're so right the, there. The, 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 good, the good thing about these two wingers is, is their, their willingness to work back. Um, I mean, I, I was not great at that, but these guys have really, really helped out Jamal and Max Aaron's there. Every time that Leeds have attacked, our wingers have been back in and helping them out. Especially with this Harrison on this right-hand side wanting to cut in on his left foot all the time. It's going to be really important that on our Hernandez helps him out because that's the position where he can win the ball for him, which he just did. Mark, I'm afraid wingers have to do that these days. Well, I know they do. This this I have to do it, but I'm it's reluctant. It's what's expected of them. Puki's lost possession, battling for it on halfway. Leeds have it. Back it goes to Pontus Janssen, the Swede, wearing a pair of black woolly gloves and short sleeves. Klitsch then lays the ball off to four short in the centre circle and Leeds have it on the left-hand side and there's space for Pablo Hernandez he's got support outside him here cross comes into the Norwich penalty area it's over hit I think uh, Harrison does well to keep it in play Ailing now collects on the right wing and there is uh, Onel Hernandez illustrating your point Mark Rivers winning a tackle yeah. in his own left-back position and it's a, a Leeds throw-in which is taken by Ailing into Tyler Roberts the young Welshman who can't quite lay it off to Ailing Onel Hernandez steals it and brings it forward from the left-back position tries a trick then tees up Jamal Lewis, and Lewis hits it long, and that will come straight back. Because he couldn't pick out Timu Puki. Kleech now for Leeds. Feeds it to the right-hand side, and Harrison. Harrison getting the ball towards Hernandez, who's tackled well by Tribal. It's Buendia for Norwich to Steeperman. Steeperman works it forward, under Cook though, and Leeds have got it back again. Norwich, when they, do, when they are getting a chance to have the ball, are not looking after it particularly well at the moment. Leeds try to come forward again with Ailing. Four short, former Brentford man drives forward. Nice one touch from Cleach to the right hand side and Harrison. Harrison coming forward. Tribal goes to meet him. Harrison's got the pass away. Lewis will intercept though. And Norwich have it with Brancic. Halfway inside his own half. Drags the ball past four short and just stops. Weighs up his options and hits it long into the channel on the left hand side where Steepman will get after it and will get there and then goes down after a clash with Pontus Janssen. But once again, Steepman's on the ground and the referee's allowing play to go on. I think he's appealing for an elbow there. Play continues. Ben Godfrey needs to cut out a long ball. He's tussling with Kamar Roof. Down goes Roof, and that's a free kick to Leeds well forward. Godfrey in a tangle with Roof there, coming off second best, but the controversy at the moment at the other end of the pitch where Steepman ran into Pontus Janssen, went down again looking for a free kick and didn't get it. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it looks like he has been uh, smacked in the nose for his... Uh willingness to run down the line but you know referees don't give them a lot unless the linesman actually sees it and the linesman's on the other side of the pitch for that uh, for half of the field so you know tricky one to give that wasn't really a foul from Godfrey I he was just a little bit eager to get the ball free kick uh, given those two yeah free kick given and this is another dangerous position so 35 yards careful. out to the right of centre Alioski is going to deliver this into the penalty area scored at Carrow Road earlier this season 
it's too wide and too far out for the shot. This is going to be all about the delivery into the penalty area. He raises his right arm up to the ball with the left foot now, curling it dangerously into the penalty area. It actually hits Zimmerman and uh, goes back towards the Norwich goalkeeper, Krull, who uh, deals with it comfortably. Janssen went down in the penalty area there, but uh, yeah, a few screams for a penalty yeah, from the Leeds fans. Not from the players, though. I think he, uh, I think I actually hit Janssen there because he's... Uh, <laughs> A little bit wounded, shall we say, in the uh, man area. Yes. <laughs> this is uh, this is every bit. It's not running very well. Let's, let's <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> It'll take him a little while to, to get over that one. Yeah. This is uh, every bit as intense as we thought it would be, isn't it, Mark? It, it certainly is. The atmosphere is amazing. Yeah, it really um, is. You know, it's, it's a proper game of football. It's you know we're, we're struggling a little bit to keep hold of it as as we win it back, but you know Leeds are piling on the pressure and we're defending manfully, so it's. Uh, We've got to expect that playing away from home and playing at Leeds that are a very attacking and aggressive. But remember, Norwich team. leading 1 0, and now Buendia's found Onel Hernandez. That was a foul. Goes down. That looked like a free kick, it hasn't been given. Alioski brings it away for Leeds. Pablo Hernandez plays one forward early. Tyler Roberts could be in here. Krill's outside his penalty area. Roberts has got it past him and wide. That was a near thing. Now, has the referee a given kick. a free kick? He has. He's given a free kick for the challenge by Krull outside the penalty area, and the Norwich goalkeeper has shown the yellow card. Well, that's a big call from the referee. Krull came running out of his penalty area. Tyler Roberts hooked it past him, got the shot goalwards, and it bounced wide. Krull, though, has been booked for taking out Tyler Roberts and leads him a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area here. Yeah. I don't know what goes through goalkeeper's head sometimes, but that was the wrong decision. He, he came rushing out. He was nowhere near the ball. Uh, the Leeds player was always going to get there before him. And luckily it didn't go in, but, you know, he's lucky to be on the pitch, I think. Me and Rob both looked at each other then and thought, he's going to get sent off. Could be a red, yeah. Yeah, quite easily. I, I think the only fact that he didn't is because there was a couple of Norwich players getting back in behind him. But that was just... I don't know why they do that, try and run outside their box to try and clear the ball, unless it's definite that they, they can get it. Yeah, Tyler was, Roberts was always going to get it. He was absolutely first. nowhere near yeah. that then, absolutely nowhere near it. But if a more pressing concern for Norwich is the free kick. Norwich have already scored from a free kick. Pablo Hernandez hits one straight into the wall. Cleach with the rebound, rifles it high over the bar. Cruel bark to this defence now, he's on a bit of a tight rope. Can't afford to waste time later on, Tim Cruel, if Norwich are still leading. We saw him booked, I think, at West Brom recently, didn't we, Tim Cruel, for wasting time? He's on a yellow card. And uh, again, I'll reiterate, we don't have the, the benefit of replays here, so we, yeah. we've I only got to go on our gut instinct. But I mean, Roberts got the shot away, so I wondered if that might let Krul off. But the free kick was given, and the yellow card was shown. There are some objects being thrown from the, the, the crowd behind Krul's goal there as he gets ready to take this uh, goal kick. But uh, that doesn't bother him, and he fires the ball into the Leeds half. Ailing wins the header for Leeds. Norwich, remember, lead 1 0 here on BBC Radio Norfolk. If it stays like this, Norwich will go back to the top of the championship. Brancic throwing himself down and getting a free kick. I didn't think he was going to. It looked a little bit dramatic from the man whose goal separates the sides, but referee Stuart Atwell has given it. Leeds 0, Norwich 1. Do you know what? The, the referee hasn't given us much, and, and to be fair, I wouldn't have given him either because the way they keep chucking their arms around. It's uh, it's no wonder he's not giving it them, and now there's a little bit of a fracas between Vrancic and the one of the Leeds players yeah. kicking the ball at each other. And Mateus Klitsch, the pole, wants to take the free kick for Norwich. He's had a couple of goes at taking it, and he's being sent away with, his flip, with a flea in his ear by the referee. It just means so much, this game. I know it's only February, I know there's still three months of the season to go, but at the start of the day, these were the top two in the championship, and this really feels like a big game. Norwich lead it 1-0. Not quite half an hour played. Vrancic eventually knocks the free kick short. Norwich go back to Ben Godfrey. And then it goes in turn back to Tim Krul, who's being booed by the Leeds fans for getting booked a moment ago. As it goes to Godfrey. Godfrey rushes the ball infield. The referee has got in Buendia's way there, and that's allowed Leeds to have possession with Alioski. Now Pablo Hernandez probing. Tribal intercepts. Can't keep the ball, though. Four short for Leeds. Up towards Tyler Roberts. This time it's Vrancic who strides in and wins the ball. And from it, Norwich will break. O'Neill Hernandez through the midfield gets tackled. Luke Ayling timing that tackle perfectly, and then O'Neill Hernandez not doing so and bringing Ayling down. Referee waves play on, and then we'll bring it back because there's another foul that's done by Tribal on Tyler Roberts. Norwich are getting stuck in here. They're starting to concede a few too many free kicks, you might say. Yeah, they are. Uh, the one thing I liked about Hernandez then, I know he lost the ball, but he got it, and his initial, uh, you know, 
movement was forward and at forward with pace and he was just a little bit unlucky that he didn't push it past Ailing. So a uh, good play from him because he's been defending a lot but then when he's got the ball just then he's, he's wanted to get forward and get forward quickly and that's what we need just to relieve a bit of pressure. Marcelo Bielsa is getting a stern talking to from the fourth official down below us. The Argentine from a Marseille manager, from Argentina manager. And uh, Norwich City are annoying him at the moment, leading as they do 1-0. But Leeds try to respond, Cleach with the cross into the penalty area, headed tamely wide there by Kamar Roof, who has scored five in his last four games here at Elland Road. I mean, you've got to stay with this one right to the end because Norwich and Leeds have both scored lots of late goals this season. Yeah, I certainly yeah. wouldn't rule out a stoppage time goal from somebody today. But that's still a good hour of football away. Half an hour played, 1-0 Norwich lead. Onel Hernandez Brilliant. turns inside his own half, then plays a terrible ball back to Kimar Roof, who intercepts. Cleach on the edge of the penalty area, can't find Tyler Roberts. It will run for Pablo Hernandez, 25 yards from goal. Norwich trying to regroup, he's got the pass away. There's Buendia in the right-back position, intercepting and bringing the ball away with confidence. And now Brancic finds Schreiber. A little bit sloppy, that, from Onel Hernandez. Not, they can't afford to do that too many more times, Norwich City, who lead 1-0 in the cold on the near Zealand Road. Great atmosphere. Norwich trying to get forward for the first time in a while, with Brancic looking to test the Lee's defence. Puki takes on Janssen. The Swedish defender comes away with the ball. And he's got it again here. Plays it into Forshaw, and back it goes to the goalkeeper, Cassia, who's not really been tested by Norwich, other than the goal. No. Hasn't really had a save to make other than that. For anything to do really has he you know it's, uh, it's been a very congested sort of middle of the middle of the pitch game hasn't it with the teams breaking forward and then the game stopped by an excellent Norris defence so far it's Leeds breaking forward Pablo Hernandez left hand side broken up by Buendia who skillfully keeps that ball in play and then lays it off for Zimmerman to pass it up towards halfway Puki gets a ball to his feet there for the first time in a while he plays the ball out to the right hand side Max Ahrens Wriggles away from Alioski, then hits one forward early, but Puki not going to bother chasing that one. It's gone through to the goalkeeper, Kiko Casilla. And uh, it's Leeds, who are behind by a goal to nil on BBC Radio Norfolk. Great to have the former Norwich winger Mark Rivers alongside us. We've got 14 minutes to go until half time. Here's Harrison on the right wing for Leeds United, testing the Norwich defence once more. Tribal and Jamal Lewis double up on him, and it's Jamal Lewis who emerges with the ball, and he's quick and he's got up towards halfway, nice. and he's got away from Cleach now. Central position here, Jamal Lewis, and he's still running. He's gone most of the length of the pitch here as Lewis by the time he plays the pass to the left-hand side in Steeperman. Norwich fans below us appreciated that. Here's Onel Hernandez to Buendia, who's coming to a central position. 35 yards out. Buendia goes past one man, gets into the penalty oh. area. This is a brilliant run from Buendia. Now can he get the shot in to finish it? Buendia, oh. it's blocked. And it comes back out of the penalty area again. Uh, Arons gets the ball towards the... Right hand side, it's in the penalty area here with Buendia. Uh, shot comes in, straight out the goalkeeper. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that strange noise, it's just broken out, it's over the public address system. I wonder what was going on there as the Norwich attack was being played out and we just got white noise in our, in our ears, but it was the public address system at the ground that was blasting that out, perhaps trying to put Norwich off, but that was tremendous attacking play from Emi Buendia. Brilliant, yeah, he's, I mean, initially Jamal Lewis down his left hand side showed great composure and fantastic skill. And he just kept running and running and running and running. Got us into the opposition half and then landed with Buendia and what a run. Great bit of skill and he was just a little bit unfortunate he couldn't get his shot off and when he did, it was blocked. But uh, I'll tell you what, the skill of some of these young players these days is just fantastic. I mean, the composure they've got on the ball is, is really quite amazing. You know, Max Aaron's over in that corner then and Buendia over on the far side. Jamal Lewis here running down the left and then cutting in the... They're almost, even the defenders are like attacking players now, aren't they? It's, it's, the skill is just fantastic. Lewis clears the ball away. There's been some conspiracy theories about dirty tricks, tactics in the championship this season, but blasting out white noise when the opposition yeah, threw a goal, that's a new one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was an accident. Yeah, maybe uh, so. It didn't put Norwich off anywhere, though they couldn't take the chance. 1-0 Norwich lead. Some of the Leeds fans trying to get their team going, twirling the, those white scarves around above their heads. Tribal playing the ball forward. Come back to Pablo Hernandez though for Leeds, and now it's Ailing. 25 yards out, opens up for four short to get the shot in, blocked by Christoph Zimmerman. Aaron's has been fouled there as he clears the ball away, but the referee hasn't spotted it. Uh, Stieperman wins a challenge on halfway against Ailing, and now breaks forward. Counter attack on for Norwich City. Stieperman tries to release Puki, can he get there in the penalty area? Not quite. 
great defending from Cooper, who recovered and got to the ball first after Stiefman just perhaps slightly undercooked it. Norwich go looking for it again, deep inside the Leeds half, they've won it through Buendia, 25 yards out, rolls the ball to Stiefman, edge of the penalty area for Norwich City, can he get the shot away? He's uh, actually played it on to Vrancic, who shoots low, blocked, oh, but it's no. going to fall for Pukki, and the ball's in, and has it been given? Yeah. I think it has, yeah. I think it has, there's a delay there from the Norwich City supporters while they wait for, to see what the Lionsman's flag goes up. It doesn't go up, and Tim Krull comes across to celebrate with the Norwich City supporters because this is getting better and better. The Canaries are two up. Everybody stopped. They almost assumed that Pukki was going to be flagged offside. He hasn't been. And ten minutes from half-time, he's rolled it into the empty net, and it's Leeds nil, Norwich two. What a surreal moment. <laughs> it was a little bit. The ball was in the back of the net, and it was complete silence, and everyone was looking at the linesman. The linesman, he, he just started running straight back towards the halfway line. But Puki was nowhere near offside. It was a good play from Stephen and then Branches to get his shot off. And it was a Leeds player that actually deflected the ball towards Puki, who literally had the simple task of just rolling it into the net. Uh, straightforward goal in the end, but we're 2 0 up, and it's absolutely fantastic. Norwich leads, but here come Leeds straight away with Kimar Roof. What a run this is. Into the Norwich penalty area. Krull makes a great save and an important save as well. Oh, they say you're vulnerable when you've scored a goal. Kimar Roof nearly catching Norwich City out there. Krull with a good save, and yeah. you can see what that goal meant to Norwich City. Tim Krull racing out of his penalty area to Absolutely. celebrate with the Norwich oh, fans. You go 2 0 up at a place like this, you know, in, in a, such an important game like this, and that's why they're up for it. I mean, Norwich have been brilliant this first half. Mark, I don't think I've ever seen such a delay between a goal being scored no, it, and anyone celebrating. It was celebrating quite weird, it. it really was, because he'd scored. Puki was looking at the linesman, he, he was sure it was a goal, but everyone just sort of looked at each other and thought, is he offside or not? But clearly he wasn't, the linesman literally ran back to the halfway line straight away. I think it was the fact he had so much room and that everyone just stopped. Well, we, it, you know, it was, it was a bit of a weird goal in a way, but, uh, you know, we're not complaining. No, as I mentioned, we're very much above the Norwich fans and there was a good couple of seconds before between the ball hitting the net and the fans roaring. There's only one Puki wheeled away and started celebrating that they dared believe, I think, that the goal yeah. was going to be given. What a chance Norwich have given themselves here. Two up with that nine minutes to go to half-time at Elland Road. And that's a throw-in. I will Leeds. say that, well, though, I mean, that roof's been a bit elu elusive. Uh, he's been in and out of the game a bit, but what a run that was straight after he scored. And it took a decent save from Tim Krull to, to, you know, to stop him from that run. He took on at least four Norwich players. So we, we are going to have to... Uh, be very wary of him because he, do, he you know, he's like Pukki, he scores goals. Incredible, Pukki, 19 goals in 30 appearances for Norwich City. Yeah, he's been amazing, hasn't he? A free transfer as well. I know we say it yeah. a lot, but <laughs> you almost can't underline it enough. Here's Cleach on the right-hand side for Leeds. Shell shot, 2-0 down at home. They've only lost twice here in the league this season. Birmingham and Hull, the two sides who have come here and won. And Norwich have given themselves a great chance. They're 2-0 up here in the 38th minute. I mean, I know we don't see Puki a lot in the game, but he's up there on his own. He, he works incredibly hard, I will say that for him. He's always closing people down, trying to defend. And, but you, you just know if he gets half a chance, he's going to score, and that's what he does. Here's Onel Hernandez for Norwich City, racing over halfway. He finds Stiefman in a central position. Stiefman bearing down on the Leeds defence here. Brings it out wide to the left-hand side. Looks for Jamal Lewis, who's gone well forward and has gathered the ball. Plays it back now to Vrancic. Vrancic darts past Cleek, it's opening up here for Vrancic perhaps. Onel oh, Hernandez shoots from the edge of the box, deflection takes it wide, Norwich corner. I'll tell you what, they look so dangerous when they're coming forward. I know we haven't had many attacks, but uh, when we do, you're just almost expecting them to score each time. And You know, Leeds, are, uh, as good as they are coming forward, they look pretty rubbish at the back. You know, we've got to keep using, I mean, Jamal Lewis, he's, he's attacking every time he gets the ball. And then it's fed into Stiefelman and Vrancic is always forward and we've we always got that danger of Pukki, but we're always picking it up in really dangerous positions. Norwich corner, Buendia plays it in from the right-hand side high, punched away by the goalkeeper, not convincingly. Onel oh, Hernandez gathers on the edge of the area but cannot get the shot away. Leeds clear it, but it's going to be easy for Max Ahrens here to sweep up on halfway. Norwich two up at Allen Road, but still six and a half minutes to go until half-time. Vrancic and Pukki, and we were talking before the game about how efficient and how clinical Norwich have been away from home, and that's been the word here, they haven't had many chances, but they're two up, and they attack again now, Jamal Lewis taking the game to Leeds, Onel Hernandez knocks it back to Puki, uh, to Tribal I should say, Tribal onto the halfway line and Zimmerman, and Godfrey gives it to Tom Tribal once more, 
Tribal coming forward, no great hurry, but a central position. Leeds are standing off here. They're worried about Norwich getting in behind them, as they have done with ease so far. And here's Stiefelman on the left-hand side. Stiefelman has support from Jamal Lewis, finds him in the Leeds penalty area. Lewis from the byline cuts it back. There could be an opportunity great. here for Wendy. Oh, it's off target. That was a great chance and a great run from Jamal Lewis to set it up. Buendia couldn't take the chance. It was, and he did everything right, Jamal Lewis there. He got into the box, and I was thinking, just smash it now. And that's exactly what he did, and it got blocked and ended up at Buendia's feet, and that was actually a really good chance. It was bouncing a little bit for him, a little bit hard to keep down, but, you know, a really, really good chance for Norwich to go through it. Listen to those Norwich fans. It's incredible. They've turned up a corner of West Yorkshire, yellow and green here. And they're turning the championship table yellow and green the way this is going. Two nil up. I, I just think it's important that it stays at nil to lead up until yeah, half time, Mark. Yeah. And, and Leeds look a bit as though they've just been literally had their legs blown off. It, they, they're, they're all just standing off the Norwich players when they've got the ball. And it's now us in their half and we're c commanding the play and Leeds are a little bit shell shots and like they, they've been they've, they've been decent Leeds have and they've Looked really dangerous, but great tackle. We really Schreiber. are looking the better side now. Vrancic gathers it, takes the ball forward, turns, uh, needs some support. Got four Leeds players around him, Vrancic, but he still manages to uh, shuffle it forward to Puki. Now Onel Hernandez is a, uh, a foul on Puki though before he played it, and Norwich have a free kick slightly further out from where Vrancic scored earlier on, but uh, an opportunity to cause more havoc in that Leeds defence. Bielsa's not sitting on his call box anymore. He's pacing up and down in that technical area down below us. Pushing it, the, the glasses back on the bridge of his nose, now crouching down in the technical area. Daniel Farker may be a less heralded manager in championship terms, but he's given the master Bielsa plenty to think about here. Norwich are two up, yeah. and they've got a free kick. Well, I think he will be scratching his head a bit, because Leeds have been really, really good. We've defended brilliantly this first half, and, and we literally have smashed and grabbed him. We have. We've got that goal early, and then we've just... You know, we've, we've taken our chances. They actually haven't, apart from that last shot. Free kick, 30 yards, Vrancic takes this one and it curls wide. He's already scored apart one. Apart that save from Kroll, he's not done a lot, uh, you know, for all Leeds dominance in the first half. But they're just so efficient, aren't they, Norwich? They, they haven't really had many chances, but they're two up. And that's a foul by Vrancic, as Alioski was dribbling the ball forward on the left-hand side. Vrancic badly mistiming that. Made a great tackle earlier on in the game that uh, helped to it's set up the first goal. That wasn't malicious and he shouldn't get booked for that. But, I mean, both goalkeepers haven't done a lot, really. We've not seen... I mean, that was a weird punch what the, goal, the Spanish goal, goalie did before, but other than that, he's not had a save to make, other than picking it out of his net, really. Long free kick taken by Leeds, right at the half of that Norwich defence, headed away by Godfrey. Gathered by Leeds United on the attack, on the left-hand side. Norwich lead 2-0. The ball's in the Norwich penalty area. There's a Leeds player has gone down. Referee immediately waves away the appeal, says no penalty. Leeds come again. Harrison. On the right-hand side, level with the Norwich penalty area. He's got Onel Hernandez and Jamal Lewis marking him. It's Onel Hernandez who gets the tackle in, leads throw. Two and a half minutes to go until half-time. Norwich two up at Elland Road. It's gone just as well as Daniel Farker would have been thinking when his head hit the pillow last night. But there's still a lot of football left in this one. Throw in taken by Leeds. Harrison on the right hand side looking for Ailing on the overlap. Back to Harrison again. Into the penalty here it goes. Luke Ailing trying to make some room perhaps for the shot. In the end, he's got the pass away and it's Roof who shoots. Blocked. Another shot. Blocked. And Godfrey clears it away. They were lining up then, the Leeds players on the edge of the penalty area to take pot shots, but Norwich had bodies in the way. They're yeah, fantastic defending. Christoph Simon with both blocks then. Uh, with Roof, uh, Roof having both shots, but. They do look dangerous, Leeds. I mean, they're getting really, really promising positions. Hernandez, you know, and Harrison down this uh, right-hand side, especially. But he cuts, he's quite predictable. He cuts in on his left foot every time he gets the ball. You know, and Hernandez and Jamal have dealt with him really, really well. But, you know, there is danger down this right-hand side. Uh, Marcelo Bielsa's not shy when it comes to making substitutions as well. I wouldn't be surprised if he changes things at half-time. Roof looking for Harrison on the right-hand side again. Skipping into the Norwich penalty area, cleared away by Godfrey. Back it comes. I don't know whether the Leeds goalkeeper's got a bit of a problem here. I've just seen him giving a thumbs-up to somebody on the Leeds bench down below us. I've been a little bit concerned about him. As you mentioned, hasn't been overextended in this game, but Norwich no, lead 2-0. Not an obvious problem. Maybe he's strained his back. Picking the ball out the net, are you going to say? Yeah, well done. It's an old one. <laughs> Leeds coming forward, here's Tyler Roberts. Left-hand side, they attack now. Brancic 
keeping a disciplined line there on the edge of the penalty area, winning the ball. Max Aaron's in the right back position, trying to dribble it away and losing it. And Leeds have got a chance to put the ball in from the left hand side. Zimmerman heads the ball to safety. But for how long? His four sure for Leeds. Planning Ailing, the right back, wants a Bristol City. He plays it back towards the halfway line, and Adam Forshaw once more turns. With his bright red football boots on, gets the pass away to Kamar Roof. That's a, a real tussle there between Roof and Tribal. Tribal tried to pull his shorts down. Yeah. It's a free kick, a clear free kick. He didn't just pull his shirt, he <laughs> pulled his shorts as well. <laughs> yeah, he's going for the full D bag there, wasn't he? Yeah, Tom Tribal cannot complain about that. Big few moments ahead now. Norwich are 2 0 up, but we're about to enter first half stoppage time. Can they go in at half time with a clean sheet? That would feels like that matters a lot at the moment. It does, it does matter a lot. Alioski's free kick on the right hand side for Leeds, just inside the Norwich half. Two minutes of stoppage time for Norwich to see out with a two goal lead. But Ellen Road, Alioski raises again that right hand, gets the ball onto his left foot, whips the free kick towards the danger area. Krull is out and has dropped it, but the free kick will be given. Leeds have put the ball into the net, but it's not going to count because. Krull came through a crowd of players, got both hands to the ball and was then taken off his feet. It's one of those that I think when your team gets a goal like that, you always feel a little bit hard done by, but in fairness to the referee, you always see the free kick given in the goalkeeper's favour there. You do, I mean, he, he looked favourite to win it uh, and got both hands on it and the ball was knocked out of his hands, you know, for, for him being shoved backwards almost. So it was a free kick. Uh, you do see the goal he's getting them given quite easily, but, uh, you know, we're thankful for that because it did end up in the back of the net. Well, it was a foul. Sort of goal that Nat Lofthouse would have been proud of. She just <laughs> shoved the goalkeeper over. There's no chance that they've been given back in them days, <laughs> I'll tell you that. A minute of stoppage time remaining. Norwich are 2-0 up at Elland Road. Here's Arons playing the ball forward. Puki knocks it down to Mario Vrancic. Vrancic on to Timu Puki. Puki outside of the foot onto Onel Hernandez. So up towards the edge of the Leeds penalty area, gets tackled, somehow keeps going here, Onel Hernandez. Turns again, that tees up Vrancic for the shot maybe. No, he took the touch. And that allowed the Leeds set defence to recover and get the tackle in. It looked like it was a perfect shooting opportunity. Leeds try to break, good tackle by Ben Godfrey. And it's fallen for Buendia in the Leeds half, but he's block tackled there by Forshaw. And Leeds have got it again. Forshaw hits it forward, hopefully. Ball comes off the top of Tom Tribal's head. Ben Godfrey plays it safe there, heads it out of play. 20 seconds to go of yeah. the stoppage time. I want to see Vrancic shoot there, though. You know, well, it was a perfect chance for a shot, and he took a touch and tried to sort of be too clever. Tell you what, Godfrey, he's, he, it's the first time I've seen him play, actually. Uh, he's really impressed me. Yeah, keeping Hanley out of the team. Remember Tim Closer out injured at the moment. Ben Godfrey, midfielder by Trey, playing in the centre of defence, and it's yeah. a defence that go in at half-time with a clean sheet to their name. And, and better than that, Norwich are two goals up here, and as it stands, on their way back to the top of the table. I know there's a lot of football still to be played, but as 45 minutes go, that has been a real statement from Norwich City, leading by two goals to nil. The first one arriving in only the fifth minute. Great work from Mario Vrancic to win a tackle. Uh, free kick eventually given, 25 yards out. Vrancic took it, it took a big deflection and found the top corner of the Leeds net. Uh, Leeds uh, kept coming, they put the Norwich uh, penalty area under lots of pressure, but. Aaron Zimmerman, Godfrey Lewis and their teammates have propelled most things. Tim Krull's made one good save and it got better for Norwich 10 minutes from half-time. An attack where Leeds missed several opportunities to win the tackle and clear the ball away. It eventually bobbled to Puki, uh, wide of goal, only about eight yards out. He tapped the ball into the empty net and there was a second or two's delay while everybody looked to the linesman to see whether the flag would go up. When it didn't, the Norwich fans below us started to cheer. Timu Puki's 19th of the season. Norwich City are 2-0 up at half-time, and Mark Rivers, what an opportunity they've given themselves here. Do you know what? It's, it's just about the most perfect away performance so far. You know, they've they defended absolutely amazingly. I mean, for, for the young age of the defence, they've been amazing. You know, ben Godfrey, like you say, is a midfielder. I've only ever seen him come on as sub a couple of times, and I've not really had a, a, a chance to have a good look at him, but today he's been immense. Zimmerman's been amazing. Uh, both fullbacks have been fantastic getting forward and defensive. Both wingers, brilliant defending and then quick to get forward. The midfielders, you know, Tribal's been winning the ball. Even Vrancic has been, the first goal came from him, you know, winning the ball and, and setting Hernandez off. And Puki, he's, he's been his normal self, you know, he's, he's worked hard and he's tried to, you know, put the defenders under pressure and then when he's got a chance, he scored. You know... <laughs> It really has been the perfect first half away performance. It's 
spoke to somebody uh, who works for the Norwich press team at half time and they looked at me and just said prepare for the kitchen sink I think we know what's coming in the second yeah. half but what a position Norwich are in two up there have been two substitutions made by Marcelo Bielsa at half time I'm not surprised about that we were saying towards the end of the first half he's not a manager that messes around when it comes to changes he's brought on Barry Douglas who was promoted with Wolves last season he will play on the left hand side he replaces Pablo Hernandez and uh, they've also brought on uh, Jack Clark, who's ha had a real breakthrough season, the youngster, he has come on for Jack Harrison, who caused Norwich a few problems in the first half. So that's the two leads changes. Norwich uh, and Daniel Farker have sent out exactly the same 11 that have them in a two-goal lead. We're underway in the second half. Norwich in a yellow and green, going from left to right as we look at it. It means uh, that they're attacking the end of the ground where their fans are, although their fans are towards the side of the pitch rather than behind the goal. Leads all in white top of the table at the start of the day but at the moment that honour is going to go to Norwich City who lead at Ellen Road by two goals to nil here's the substitute Douglas who as I mentioned got promoted last season so knows what it's all about but that his first touch the move was broken down looks like he might play at left back and Alioski will go further yeah. forward on that left hand side uh, the other change on the other side is a, a, a straight swap so Norwich still with crawling goal Aaron Zimmerman Godfrey and Lewis at the back it's Tribal, Vrancic and Steepman in midfield, Buendia and Hernandez wide and Puki up front. They've got through such a lot of hard work in that first half. Norwich boxed in here, Leeds trying to work it forward on the left-hand side. Zimmerman will sweep it up, plays a slightly awkward back pass to his goalkeeper who has to come wide of his goal, cruel to clear it. It's fallen for Barry Douglas here, he tries to get Leeds going on the left-hand side. Alioski's tackled by Ahrens and it's a throw-in to Leeds, all in white. Daniel Farker visible already on the side of the pitch in his black overcoat watching Tyler Roberts come forward for Leeds. They've got the ball out to the right-hand side. Bit of space here for the youngster Clark. The skinny half-time substitute. Gets the ball to Ailing. Move breaks down, Norwich intercept. But uh, it's not been cleared very well, and Leeds have possession back. And it's uh, not uh, to Pontus Janssen. I'll give you the Leeds team in just a moment. I think Leeds are going to dominate the ball in the second half, particularly with Norwich leading 2-0. Douglas hits it forward early and straight through to Tim Krul. Norwich have, or Leeds, sorry, have Casilla in goal. Ailing, Cooper... Janssen and now Douglas the back four. Four short, Klitsch and Roberts the midfield three. Uh, now uh, you've got uh, Alioski playing on the left. You've got Jack Clark playing on the right. And still their top scorer, Kimar Roof, through the middle. Norwich lead 2 0. Goals in the first half from Vrancic and Puki, giving them the advantage. Ben Godfrey hooks one forward for Norwich City. Into the channel on the right hand side. Brendia sets off after it. Goalkeeper Casilla comes out though to the left back position to collect the ball. and Finds Barry Douglas. Douglas plays the ball towards the edge of the penalty area and Janssen. And now comes to Liam Cooper, his partner in the heart of that defence. Ball goes to Ailing. Right back for Leeds. And now Janssen. Leeds haven't drawn a game since October. It's, it's win or bust for Leeds. But they take a point right now. 2-0 down at home. Schreiber gets the ball back to Zimmerman. Wendia plays it inside to Tom Schreiber. Tribal up towards halfway and Puki who looks after it well and brings Vrancic into play. Vrancic skating through the centre circle here. Poor pass intercepted by Douglas, but Norwich will collect the loose ball. Aaron's forward to Steeperman. For sure, Eager goes in with the challenge. Out it goes, Norwich throw in. It was a really intense first half. Steeperman looking after the ball well. Gets it back from Aaron's. Steeperman on the right hand side. Forces his way past Alioski. Then loses it to Douglas and Steepman clearly wrestles him to the ground. That's a free kick. Bit of uh, reaction then on the ground between Douglas and Steepman. And not for the first time we've got Steepman rolling around on the floor here. But um, all's fair in love and warm up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been a decent start to the second half from Norwich. You know, they've cut the ball quite well and Pookie there in particular. Steepman was running down a bit of a blind corner and he's ended up sort of lying on top of Douglas. And I think he's probably given him a little nasty nip there because he's, uh, yeah, he's up now and he's up on the round. Yeah, but yeah it's been a good start, you know, they've looked lively and Leeds have changed things around a bit and, you know, the, the 11 there, Tyler Roberts, is, is pushing quite, quite a, a bit more forward than he was in the first half as well, so... You know, they, they've got to go for it, haven't they? They're 2 0 down. And well, it's, it's another compliment to Norwich City, isn't it? Yeah, the Bielsa's absolutely. made the two changes yeah, at well, half time. Well, I mean, both wingers were not that effective, really. Uh, Harrison was was looked dangerous, but was very well. You know, he, he kept cutting in all the time and he was easily dealt with in the end. 
It did look like Alioski well, was leaning all over Matt Sarans yeah, there, was, but, but the uh, throw-in has gone leads his way. You know, he had to it. do something, because they, you know, they're getting beat, aren't they? So, Tribal. fingers crossed they're going to plough everything forward and we'll, we'll nick another couple of goals on the break. Tribal wins an untidy tackle, finds Anel Hernandez in the centre circle, back to Vrancic, who's... That was a foul. Well, won a free kick there, he knocked the ball between two Leeds players, which has always taken a bit of a risk, but clearly the arm came across from Klitsch, the Polish international. And down he went, and that's a free kick. Yeah. And that it was very clever play, actually. It was quite quite risky, but uh, clever at the same same time. And uh, just wanted to mention Zimmerman there. I, I saw the Norwich captain just race into the centre circle and have a big bellow at Ernel Hernandez and make a gesture to say cut it out. So whatever yeah. <laughs> Hernandez did there, perhaps overcomplicating it. I think the message from Christoph Zimmerman is just let's keep it simple. And then Zimmerman keeps it a little too simple, launches <laughs> the ball long, and it goes through to Casilla, the goalkeeper. Norwich two up at Elland Road. We're with you through until 8 o'clock on BBC Radio Norfolk. After the game, Mark Rivers and Rob Butler will take your canary calls on what could be another landmark evening in Norwich City's season. But even at 2-0 up, you know they're going to be made to work. Oh, they are. Very there's, hard. There's to going to be some pressure piled on in the second half. But, I mean, they, they caught with it manfully in the first half. Just going back to Zimmerman there. You know, if Hernandez is in Leeds as half, he can do what he wants, basically. But he, he's just got to be sensible when he's in our half. And, it, you know... The last thing you want to do is give the ball away cheaply or, you know, especially when you're trying to do something stupid or a bit too clever. Just keep it simple back there, get in, the, in leads half, then you can be expressive and, and, and show us your skill. Cooper hits it long for Leeds towards the edge of the Norwich penalty area. Godfrey gets his head to it. Vrancic then heads it back over the Leeds forward, Kimir Roof, into his goalkeeper, Krul, who will be able to pick that ball up because it was a head back, but instead he's passed it out to Zimmerman. And Zimmerman delightfully flicks it uh, out to the right-hand side, and Max Ahrens, who we haven't seen much of going forward in this game, but he's got a chance to stretch his legs here, and Tyler Roberts has brought him crashing down. That's a clear free kick, and has to be a yellow card for Tyler Roberts, the Welsh international, who... Well, Ahrens got away from him there, and Roberts uh, reacted, brought him down. It's a free kick for Norwich City on the right-hand side. No, we haven't seen much of him going forward, but, I mean, when he has, he's been very positive, and he, likewise then, he was... He, he was extremely determined getting forward and, and drew the foul, and Tyler Roberts is in the book, yellow card. Well, he, Max Ahrens, when these two sides met in August, Max Ahrens hadn't made his league debut. No, well, He's now started it's amazing, isn't all it? 25 league games since. It is amazing. And I've always been full of praise, especially for the two full-backs. When Diaz free so kick curled into the penalty area, and it goes through to the Leeds goalkeeper, Casilla. They're, they're so young, the and they're playing in important positions, but they're so mature for, for, the, for their young age. Leeds fans are doing their bit, scarves being twirled around again above heads to get the atmosphere going. Here's the youngster Clark on the right-hand side, who Norwich will need to watch, 18-year-old. Not particularly well-built, very slight figure, he, look, he looks 18 as well when yeah, he, he gathers the ball, but I've seen highlights of some of their games recently, and he's deceptively difficult to shake off the ball. Norwich yeah, he's one of them little there, wiry players, isn't he? He's, he's going to be full of pace and he'll be very direct because he's so young. He's obviously going to be wanting to impress in such a big game. Only made his debut in October couple of goals already this season in his first 15 games for Leeds United. Packed house at Elland Road, cracking atmosphere. You don't get this every week in the Championship and the Norwich fans are enjoying it. Norwich lead, 2-0 on BBC Radio Norfolk. Here's Cooper, the Leeds defender, coming into the Norwich half. Invited to run because Norwich are just sitting off a little bit. Here's Alioski. Out to the left it goes and the substitute Douglas. On again to Alioski, he's playing further forward in this second half. Good tackle from Brancic. Norwich have got the ball back. Puki back inside his own half, helping out. Unable to hold on to the ball, and Leeds come again. It's Alioski on the left-hand side, good tackle from Buendia. Norwich, uh, Leeds throw in, I should say. Halfway inside the Norwich half on the left. Barry Douglas to take it. Daniel Farker standing as close to the pitch as he dares, right on the edge of his technical area. Waving an instruction to his defence to stay organised here as the ball breaks to four short. 30 yards from the Norwich goal, up towards the edge of the penalty area. Roof spins it out to the right-hand side, and the youngster Clark, who is direct, and gets into the Norwich penalty area, goes past Lewis, gets the cross in, and Vrancic is there. About eight yards out to hook it away, but only as far as the edge of the area. Important header won by Onel Hernandez. Steepman then holds on to it and finds Jamal Lewis, and Norwich will break out. Jamal Lewis uh, hits it long. Only Puki and Onel Hernandez up there. Leeds will get the ball back to their goalkeeper. It's quite a sight, this, with the Leeds fans getting their the white scarves out and twirling them around above their heads. They have little spells of that during the game as they go long here. Zimmerman heads it away. Uh, Leeds come again, but the ball has bounced away from Kimar Roof and through to Tim Krul, the Norwich City goalkeeper, who has only conceded 13 goals in his last 14 away matches. Norwich have been a different proposition defensively away from home than at home this season. Godfrey races forward from 
the back four here. Plays the ball to the left-hand side in Stieperman, on to Godfrey. He has gone up the field here, maybe caught out of position, but not so, because Norwich have got it to Brancic. Brancic on towards Daniel Hernandez, he's been taken out there by Liam Cooper, as uh, Brancic, after playing the ball, free kick to Norwich City, Cooper waves dismissively in the direction of the referee, but it is a free kick. And, uh, it shouldn't be a booking, really, it was, it was one of them, he, he held his ground and Brancic more, more sort of run into him than was fouled. But yeah, I mean, the atmosphere inside this ground is simply amazing. Yeah, it's like a proper old-fashioned game, in it, you know, where all the, you know, the Leeds fans are waving their uh, scarves around and making so much noise, and the Norwich fans, equally, you know, I mean, they're massively outnumbered, but we can, we can still hear them cheering and singing the songs, and it's just a, it's just a great game of football. It really is exciting to watch. And Norwich playing their part in it, leading 2-0. We've played 10 minutes of the second half on BBC Radio Norfolk, and we have. A free kick to Norwich, just over halfway. Cooper wasn't booked for that challenge or his reaction to it. And it'll be Buendia who will float this ball in towards the Leeds penalty area. That's too close to the goalkeeper. Easy for Casilla to come and get. Uh, England have won 32-20 at Ireland in the Six Nations. That's a statement victory, which is what we're hoping to see here, a statement away victory. Here's Klitsch for Leeds, tackled by Vrancic, who's had a great game. Steepman and Vrancic now linking up, and Vrancic plays the pass nonchalantly inside with the outside of his foot and finds Pukic on now to Buendia, who drops the shoulder, angles it to the right-hand side. Aarons joins the attack, gets tackled, throw into Norwich City. Starting to link up nicely there, some of the, the Norwich yeah. midfielders. Vrancic is so calm on the ball. I mean, every time I watch him play, you think, you know, you almost, you think you need to wind him up a little bit because he's, he's so laid back, but he's just so confident and calm on the ball, and it's just the way he plays, and... We can't all be terriers running around the pitch and looking like really busy. You need, you need someone like him that's just got that, that little bit of calmness and that little bit of quality, and he, he's, he's just full of it. Well, Norwich should have Moritz Leitner back in training this week. He's regarded as their most technically gifted player, but the way Vrancic oh, is playing... He's played, right up there. He, he really is. Vrancic uh, is right up there in the technical skills. He, he's always been very technically good for me. Every time I've watched him play, he's... He's, he's just so good on the ball and uh, I mean well, Leitner is amazing Tribal well, commits it. a foul but the referee waves play on because Leeds have it with Clark and then the foot is left in by Vrancic on Tyler Roberts and it's a free kick for Leeds here halfway inside the Norwich half a little bit untidy that from Norwich City yeah he just tackled him from the wrong side really he took a little bit of a knock when he was just on the ball then and uh, I think he took a minute or two to get over it and he, he just wasn't sort of at the pace of the ball there and tackled from the wrong side, so it was a free kick. Norwich have another set piece to deal with. They've done that OK so far, but you know, the, the tests will go on. They can't rest on their laurels. We've still got more than half an hour to go at Elland Road. Saturday night football on BBC Radio Norfolk. Leeds nil, Norwich 2. Free kick to Leeds. Aimed uh, into the Norwich penalty. It bounces in front of Krul, and then he gathers it, and then he overarms the ball out straight away to Stieperman. And... Uh, the German marauds forward over halfway. He's got Aaron's racing in front of him. Steepman, though, will keep it and now look for Buendia. Back to Steeperman. Central position, halfway inside the Leeds half. It's rolled this time to the left hand side in Jamal Lewis. Lewis skips inside from that wing. He's got Puki outside him, just peeling out smartly there into the channel. Timu Puki dances into the penalty area. Great football onto Onel Hernandez, who can't quite get the ball out of his feet. And Leeds will clear with Cooper. It just broke down in the penalty area there, that Norwich move, which had so much promise about it. Kimar Roof has just thrown himself to ground on halfway, that referee's not buying it. That was pathetic. From that Ranching up to Onel Hernandez, clever touch then from Stieperman, but Kleech working hard, gets the foot in, and Leeds have got it back. And Kleech will race away eventually on the right-hand side, plays it in behind the Norwich defence. Zimmerman gets there, back to his goalkeeper Tim Krull, who's the, the one Norwich player booked so far, Tim Krull, and he took out Taylor Roberts on the edge of the penalty area in the first half. Norwich lead 2-0. Roberts, the other player, but ooh, mistake by Steepman. He's lost possession there. Inside his own half. Goes looking for it to try and win it back. Norwich not pulling out of the tackles here, but Leeds have got Douglas in space. Halfway inside the Norwich half. Douglas aims it into the penalty area. Leeds player uh, going down in the area. Kamal Roof appealing for the penalty, but in truth, he was never going to get to the ball. And I think he just thought, well, if oh. I go down, I might, I might get a penalty. There didn't look much in that from him. Him and Tim Crawl just, uh, just had a squaring up. I think Tim Crawl just well to him and said, uh, Cut the diving out type of thing because that roof's just done two ridiculous dives, big swan dives, and uh, Tim Cruz just uh, got in his face and told him to pack it in, I think. But uh, 
Buendia has lost possession inside his own half. Norwich can't keep giving it away there. Alioski's cross from the left-hand side towards Roof, who can't quite bring it down in the area. Uh, slides in, though, and makes a nuisance of himself. And Norwich have still got some defending to do here. Leeds have somehow kept this attack going. Uh, here's Ailing on the right-hand side. Great tackle, that is, from Vrancic again. Forced himself in between Ailing and the ball. And then tries to release Onel Hernandez on the left wing. Finds him. Hernandez's first touch is heavy. Leeds have it back. But Stieperman's not letting it go. And he's won it back inside Leeds territory. What work, what commitment from Marco Stieperman. Now he tries to power forward, but he's got two defenders up against him. So back it goes to Hernandez. They have rolled their sleeves yeah. up here in Norwich City. That was absolutely fantastic from Stieperman. Initially, Hernandez was making a right use of himself and Vrancic won the ball and then Stiepman was just so dogged in possession he just couldn't get the ball off him just pulled up there Vrancic in possession of the ball he got stood on his heel referee allowing play to continue I think he's going to be okay he's now shouting at the referee wanting a free kick but it's a Leeds throw in Leeds are getting their last substitute ready it's Patrick Bamford who wasn't expected to feature today he's uh, had a real injury hit season but they're about to throw him on the striker Tribal wins the tackle Hernandez does well to shuffle it forward and find Stiefman under real pressure there Ono Hernandez but not pulling out of the tackles and eventually it's a throw into Leeds Buendia is screaming at his teammates saying I was in a great position yes. in the centre circle and he's <laughs> swinging his arms around in frustration I mean Stiefman's done amazing the last couple of times but sometimes just a simple pass will do <laughs> and uh, that time he did hold on to it for too long and lost it and, I mean Buendia and Max Aarons have both made horrendously big runs forward you know Real full pace runs forward and they, they haven't been given the ball. And it's just Leads a attack. Frustration. It's come to Alioski, edge of the penalty area, hits a low shot, no power on it, and Krull gathers. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit frustrating when you you really are making those massively long runs at full pace and you don't get the ball. And you know they're, they're working so hard defending that they just want to get the chance to attack. Because I mean, Bundy is an attacking-minded guy, isn't he? And he just wants the ball to attack. So that's that's why he's frustrated. We're in the final half hour of this one now. Norwich lead two 0 at Elland Road. So far they've weathered whatever storm has come their way in the second half, but the challenge is about to change again because Patrick Bamford's going to come on, and I've just seen a little flash of the, the lights on the fourth official's board. It'll be the youngster Tyler Roberts, the 20-year-old, who will come off. Let's have a flick on there by Vrancic, not gathered by a teammate, though. Norwich need to win it back, and they do. Determined stuff. Up to Hernandez on the left-hand side, he wins a throw in. Uh, Pablo Hernandez of Leeds has gone off now, so only one Hernandez on the pitch. That's Onel Hernandez. And he's having the better of it. Now, here comes that change. It's the third and final change that Bielsa's entitled to make. He made two of them at half-time, and he's now taking off Tyler Roberts and bringing on Patrick Bamford, who had a, an unhappy loan spell with Norwich City in their last Premier League season. He's had all sorts of injury problems this season. Struggled for goals at times in his career, but he is a threat. And on he comes now with a bit of a point to prove against the team yeah. that had him on loan once. Well, I thought he was pretty woeful when he was at Norwich, and he didn't really show me anything to to sort of prove he was worth his... Oh, Norwich won it back deep inside the Leeds half, clever from Stiepman and then Puki, and it's broken to Puki on the edge of the penalty area, who once again is onside, lays it off to Stiepman. Oh, on the overlap here is Hernandez, great football, Hernandez tackled by Janssen, but he recovers the situation, spins, he's still going, Hernandez cuts it back to the edge of the six-yard box, and eventually Aarons gets there, Max Aarons! Oh, it's wide! Oh! Strange attack that, Norwich City bundled their way into the penalty area, they never really looked fully in control of it, but they got the shot away. It was a great chance actually, Max Aaron should have scored, uh, Hernandez did brilliantly initially. Um, and no, Norwich have won it back, back again, yeah. well forward on the right hand side, but Rancic can't find Puki and Leeds bring it away, Alioski on the left hand side, Norwich are pressing Leeds right back here, they're making it so difficult for Leeds to get out, in fact they've gone all the way back to their goalkeeper Casilla, who lays it out short. Eventually whacked long by Leeds towards Roof, who has turned tribal. Rancic gets the foot in and wins the ball fairly. More great football from Rancic, who's then been taken down by Roof. He just kicked out at him there. Frustration getting the better of the Leeds United top scorer. Rancic, who, when he came into English football last year, it was passing him by a little bit. He wondered whether he had the ability to bite into the challenges in the Championship. He certainly does now. What a player he's become. Yeah, he's been, he's been amazing today, he really has. And Roof is booked. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised. He's a little bit hot-headed and he's, he's lost his rag and kicked out of Rancic. It was a booking. So, free kick to Norwich City, just over the halfway line. What a noise again. It's the Norwich fans you can hear. And we're very fortunate to be sat right above them, so our microphone is picking up everything they're doing, but it's a great noise. Here's Rancic for Norwich City. More than 40,000 people expected here tonight. 
and the Norwich fans are making themselves heard. Buendia on the right wing. Buendia plays the ball forward, it breaks for Puki, who cushions it back to Buendia, changes the angle towards the left-hand side in Jamal Lewis. Lewis comes forward, he's got himself into a central position here, turns, uses Buendia for support, I know Hernandez has peeled out to the left-hand side and has got room, they get it to him now, Aileen goes to close him down, Hernandez is level with the penalty area, great overlap there by Lewis, who now has it, level with the Leeds box, taking on Forshaw, Lewis twisting, turning, tackled, comes back for more, wins it, ball bounces behind, and a corner is given. And this uh, it, it, this is just, just sheer bloody-mindedness and hard work from Norwich City. Certainly is. You know, that attack just fizzled out, really, and uh, Jamal just did really well. He's kept holding the ball with two men around him, and we've ended up with a corner. So, I mean, they're showing great passion, they're showing great determination. Leeds don't look dangerous at all. I mean, I might just shoot myself in the foot. Left-hand side, Buendia takes it in towards the near post. It comes off a Leeds defender, and eventually they hook it away. Max Ahrens uh, will chase after it. I think the ball's going to go out of play for a throw-in. In fact, it doesn't in the end. And it goes out, and a free kick is given because Kimmel Roof barged that. No, he has given a throw-in. He has given a throw-in. Roof yeah. was... I think Roof thought the free kick was given. Now, Roof has got to be careful here. Yeah, he's, he's just losing, gone over to the referee. He's losing his temper, he's and he's pointed just pointed the, the finger in the direction of the referee. That's clear descent. And I think it's one of those where if he wasn't already on a yellow card, Kimar Roof would have been booked there for that, that reaction. And the referee is yeah, if he probably handling on. this sensibly. He's got the captain over, Cooper, yeah. he's talking to him, and I think Roof is a marked man now. Absolutely. I mean, if he, he is literally losing his mind right now, Roof. And, uh, you know, he needs to just calm down. He's a decent player, but when he's, you're running around like, with, you know, like that, you're not going to achieve anything. And El Hernandez spins away from Douglas on the right-hand side. He's level with the Leeds penalty here. Gets to the byline. Hernandez cuts it back. Oh, it's an important touch from Forshaw that, that takes it away from Steeperman, who I think would have got there. Leeds clear. Throw into Norwich City, right-hand side. Oh, we, we were expecting the kitchen sink from Leeds. Actually, it's Norwich who've yeah. been more dangerous in the last ten minutes or so. They really are. I mean, Leeds look a little bit flat now. I mean, they brought Bamford on, who hopefully will be as ineffective as he was at Norwich. So... Steve well, even so, it's, it's all Norwich. Backfield from Stiefman. Aarons gathers it by the corner flag, plays it towards the Leeds penalty area. I know Hernandez looked on his heels. I don't think he expected the ball to be won by Norwich there. Leeds clear, but at the cost of a throw into Norwich City. Marcelo Bielsa waving his arms and legs about, clapping, shouting, trying to get his team going. They're 2-0 down at home to Norwich City. Stiefman wants a free kick. It's not going to be given. Got to play to the whistle there, I'm afraid. Marco Stiefman, whose boot has come off. Throw into Leeds in their left-back position. I think he's saying, look, my boot, someone stood on my heel, my boot has come off, but no foul. Mistake by Leeds, they've given it back to Buendia, on to Onel Hernandez, Stephen still hasn't got his boot on, he's out of the game, That's Hernandez fine. goes down, no foul has been given, Leeds will play it long, Zimmerman watched it all the way and got his head to it, almost in the right back position, and then he's given it back by Aarons, and plays it inside to Ben Godfrey, who's in space. I'm sure Godfrey will have plenty of friends and family in the crowd here, being a Yorkshire boy. Played forward by Lewis, under hit though, and Leeds have got it, Back to Janssen, and now Forshaw, the holding midfield player, hits it forward towards the left-hand side, not a bad ball, Alioski level with the penalty area, crosses, blocked well by Max Ahrens, feels for handball from some of the Leeds players, not given, clever touch by Stieferman, onto Buendia, who comes up towards the halfway line, sidesteps beautifully past Forshaw, Bamford though, comes back and gets the challenge in, and Leeds have got it, and Buendia is now cutting a frustrated figure, Leeds have it, with Kleech, halfway inside the Norwich half, they're 2-0 down, here's Roof, He's getting frustrated, and he's tackled by Tribal. And here's Onel Hernandez, back to Jamal Lewis. Lewis clears his lines, but can't find a teammate. And we may be in for a bit of a spell of Leeds pressure now. 2-0, yeah. Norwich yeah, I think Leeds. So. They've, they've managed to push us back into our own half, and it is Leeds pressure now. Good defending from Jamal Lewis to cut out that pass from Cleach. Onel Hernandez, who's worked ever so hard today, turning, conceding a throw in, halfway inside his own half. Does Daniel Farker think about a change here? I've just seen him looking animated, he's had his head in his hands for a moment, the German head coach of Norwich City, 2-0 up, Norwich have a great opportunity, but there's still a quarter of this match to be played on BBC Radio Norfolk, Alioski infield to Forshaw, beautifully touched on to Bamford now, Bamford is challenged, but he emerges with the ball, but not by the time he gets past Vrancic, who's stolen it, Stiefman tackled by Cooper, fairly, and Leeds have it again, just the last two or three minutes, Leeds have been first to each ball, Bielsa crouches on the side of the pitch. And cursing his luck, you can see he's looking frustrated. 21 minutes to play, Leeds nil, Norwich 2, both goals in the first half. Ailing for Leeds, onto the halfway line, and out to the right it goes in clinch. Leeds throwing men forward here in search of a goal that would 
put this game back in the melting pot. It's Clark, the substitute on the right. Back to the edge of the penalty area and Cleeks. On it goes. There's space here for Douglas on the edge of the penalty area. Douglas works it into the box. Bamford! Oh, tries to get it across goal. It's blocked and behind it goes. That's a really important challenge there from Max Ahrens, who has not got up after making it. It's a Leeds corner, but is Max Ahrens going to be all right? Yeah, he's, uh, he's looks like he's overstretched and as he's blocked it, so maybe just pulled his groin a bit. He's up. He's, he's up. up. He's up, yeah. And he's going to be OK to defend this corner. Norwich have everyone back. Casilla, the Leeds goalkeeper, is standing on the halfway line as Douglas delivers the corner from the left. Uh, flicked on. Uh, bounces in the penalty area. Buendia has it and will <laughs> skillfully bring it out to the right-hand side and then ride another tackle and then play it inside to Brancic. And he's been dumped on his backside there by Douglas. A clear foul. Buendia so cool, dribbling oh. that ball away from his own penalty area. I mean, the skill of that was just, just fantastic. I mean, most players would have just whacked it up the line, which is probably the more sensible thing to do, but he, he not made a player and then kept it, spun, spun it round and uh, played it inside and got fouled. So I'm a little concerned about Max Ahrens here. Yeah, he's, he's just holding his groin a little bit. and uh, Not moving particularly freely, but he'll want to stay out there. Yeah, I'm sure he will. But, uh, yeah, amazing score from Buendia, really was. 20 minutes to go. Leeds nil, Norwich 2. That's been the score since the 35th minute. Tim Krull with the free kick, deep inside his own half. He'll get good distance on it. Can Norwich win it in the Leeds half? Headed away by Pontus Janssen. Touch from Kleech. Brendia goes to win it in the air. Ball runs free. Leeds get there. Oh, Puki got to it, but couldn't shuffle it to a teammate. And now Leeds break. And it's Alioski on the left-hand side. Aarons, who had that knock a moment ago, is trying to recover and prevent Alioski from getting the cross in. He's done enough, and he needs some help. And he gets help. Poor touch from Alioski. Brendia takes the ball past Douglas, who fouls him. Now, Douglas surely has to get a yellow card soon. Well, he yeah. absolutely battered Buendia a minute ago, and now he's just cynically tripped it. He has. I mean, that was a little less uh, than the first one, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Douglas, he's been chucking the challenges in since he's been on in this uh, come on in second half, but, yeah, he's got away with it so far. Free kick to Norwich City. Norwich... Six away wins this season in the league, seven draws, only one defeat at Sheffield United back in August. It's a really tremendous run away from home. It really is, because they always say it's, it's the hardest place to pick points up, but uh, some teams are just really good at doing it. And Zimmerman launches it, headed away by Leeds. Brancic onto Puki, now Steeperman. Can't quite keep the attack going, Leeds have cleared it. Zimmerman gets himself under it on halfway, knocks it forward and out of play. Into those Norwich fans down below us. And it's a throw in. There's talk on social media certainly about the potential for trouble before this game. No sign of that outside the ground beforehand, thankfully. And hopefully not afterwards as well, because it's been a keenly contested game on the pitch. And that's a great tackle from Tribal. And Douglas, Douglas has just floored Quendia again there. That one actually wasn't given. That the foul has been given for Forshaw on Steeperman. And the referee is now calling Barry Douglas over to him. Douglas been injured recently. Scored five goals and 14 assists last season from left wing back for Wolves as they were promoted. And I'm sure by sending him on at half time, Bielsa would have been hoping for more of an impact. 18 minutes to go. Leeds nil, Norwich two. He still hasn't been booked. No, he, he wasn't booked, no. Uh, but that's the third pretty strong challenge on Buendia. And, you know, he's feeling it a little bit, but he's a tough little cookie, isn't he? Fourth official's over, talking to the Leeds management team. Aaron's with the free kick. Along to Steeperman. Steeperman to Aaron's. Steepman, ah, heavy touch, couldn't keep it in play. Throw into Leeds, just inside their own half. And Daniel Farker took a bit of criticism last Saturday for leaving his substitutions very late in the two-all draw with Sheffield United. And we've reached that difficult balancing act again now, where his team are 2 0 up and not doing anything wrong, but sometimes fresh legs in a game like this can be handy. What does he do? Wendia has the ball on halfway. Infield to Mario Vrancic, lovely from Vrancic, steered around the corner and he was caught. And the yellow card's coming out to Alioski. Norwich just a little sharper there in the passing. And that's Alioski a, gets the yellow card. That's a strange one from the referee, though. That was nowhere near as bad as these ones Douglas has just done on Buendia and his boxing. A bit strange. Yeah, Douglas has pulled off three worse yeah, fouls than absolutely. that. absolutely. And he, he, he hasn't been booked, so uh, I don't know. Well, no, uh, but, yeah, when, when, actually, when you're winning, I know they're working extremely hard, but when you're winning... You can seem to go on forever and ever and you don't get tired. It's weird. Yeah. It's just a mental state, I think. Yeah. That's why teams get less injuries when they're, in, they're top of the table as well. As Norwich will be heading top of the table as it stands, but we're still 17 minutes away, 16 minutes away from the end of this one. 2-0, Norwich are in front. Here come Leeds on the right-hand side with Cleach. He's got Ailing on the overlap. Ailing's crossed into the penalty area, headed away well by Tribal. 
Uh, Onel Hernandez collects, plays it back into his own penalty area for Jamal Lewis to clear. Good distance on it, but Norwich have sat deep, so Leeds will be able to get it. And the ball comes to Barry Douglas on the left-hand side. Play forward early from him. Uh, Zimmerman making the challenge to make sure Roof can't get there. Roof doesn't. Roof goes to ground, doesn't get the free kick. No, it wasn't a free kick. You know, Zimmerman just came across you and, and sort of like used his arm to push him over. And, and I think the there was, there was nothing up with that at all. You can see that Daniel Farker and his assistant Eddie Reimer here have gone to talk to the fourth officials. I think they're not happy with the way Leeds are throwing themselves around trying to win free kicks. Uh, Cleach plays the ball forward for Leeds. The pacey Clark is chasing it on the right-hand side, but Lewis has got there first. Back to the goalkeeper, Cruel it goes. Cruel clears his lines. Headed on by Onel Hernandez. Puki helps it into the Leeds half. An acrobatic clearance from Janssen. Vrancic's header puts it back into the halfway line. Leeds have it. Kimar Roof stretching. Gets the ball. Tribal made the tackle, but Roof has held that off. And he's got the pass away. And it's Bamford coming forward. Edge of the penalty area for Leeds United. Into the area it goes. Uh, Clark will get the ball across dangerously. What a clearance that is. From inside the six-yard box by Max Arendt. Amazing. Really important touch. That it, important that he got there. Ahead of Alioski, who I think well, was in there. The most impressive thing about that is he was running back towards his goal and somehow managed to squeeze it back oh, away Puki. from the goal. Puki steals it on halfway. Finds Buendia. They've got Hernandez in space on the left-hand side. They find it. Norwich come forward, perhaps here, looking for a third goal. It's Buendia, 25 yards out. Let's fly! But it's over the top. It was a good strike. It really was, and he might as well have had a shot because it was opening up for him. But, yeah, Max Aaron's that clearance back there. It just goes to prove my point again about the, the you know, the the confidence and the, the maturity of these, these especially him and, and Jamal Lewis, just fantastic players they really are. Well, Emi Buendia nine games without a goal before today but he did get three and five before that so there, there are goals in him that one off target, he hasn't had too many chances today but he's worked as hard as anybody out there for oh, Norwich City. he really City. has, everyone has but I mean, his wingers have got through some work him and uh, Hernandez have been up and down, up and down it's, it's re really, really impressive well, there's been late drama in games involving both of these sides this season, so anything could still happen. 2-0 Norwich lead. We're in the final 15 minutes of the match. Norwich fans trying to see their team over the line. Leeds, though, have got the ball in a dangerous position with Clark on the right-hand side. Bamford's outside it. He's popped up as a winger. Rolls the ball to the edge of the penalty area in Cleach. Tries to play it into the box. Buendia blocks. But Vrancic and then Hernandez clear it away. It's Buendia. Halfway inside his own half. Closed down. Does really well to come through a couple of challenges there. <laughs> and look after the ball and get it to the left-hand side in Onel Hernandez, who finds Buendia, and somehow they keep it going on the left-hand side. Great stuff from Steepman and Brancic. Steepman now hits it forward early, and it's an important header from Cooper. Had to get there because Puki was yeah, sniffing. He was. Great skill again, Steepman this time. Puki wins it back, back just inside the Leeds half. Mistake by Douglas. Puki holds on to it intelligently. He's got his goal today, and he does well. Rolls it out to the left-hand side. Onel Hernandez now skipping in from that left-hand side. A back heel. Jamal Lewis on the overlap. Lewis heads to the byline, tries to get the cross in. It's half blocked. Brancic with the it, shot. It. Oh, it's three. It's three. Mario Brancic slides in a third goal for Norwich City. It's his second. And the Canaries run over to share the moment with those two and a half thousand away fans. 13 minutes to go. And Norwich City are sending out a statement here. They lead by three goals to nil at Elland Road. Oh, absolutely amazing scenes, it really is. Goalkeeper, I thought, was massively at fault for that one. Somehow, I mean, he initially struck it really well. I think it might have taken a slight deflection on its way to the goal, but somehow it just sort of P-rolled through his legs and into the back of the net. But we're not complaining, 3 nil up. Fantastic work from Hernandez down that left-hand side again. You know, just massively making a nuisance of himself, and it's landed at Vrancic. And, yeah, he's... He somehow managed to keep it down, and I think he did take a little deflection, but goalkeeper's at fault for that one, I'm afraid. I think I'd have saved that one. Well, I can scarcely believe it. What, what a game this looked like being on paper. A difficult place to come in the Championship. Norwich are three up with 12 minutes to go, and you can hear what it means to the Norwich City supporters. Fantastic stuff. Rancic with two goals. To take his tally to seven for the season. I know it was deflected, but he did take it well, and it was a, a good move from Norwich, wasn't it? All came from them winning the ball back. Yeah, Puki, deep inside that was the lead half. Puki winning it back, and then Hernandez doing some great work. And he yep. did, he did. The initial strike was good, and I think the deflection just took the pace off it. And now Leeds just... have to throw everything at this now. Here's Clark on the right-hand side. Cleach has got space on the edge of the area. Hits the shot. Oh, tipped away by Krull. 
chance might not have gone yet. Oh, that's a rush of blood from Clark. Smacked it across the penalty area and behind for the goal kick. Nervous times there. That's yeah. actually the last two goals that Norwich have scored. They've almost conceded straight after. They have, yeah. And Leeds have bounced back straight away. And thankfully, Tim Krull's been on his toes. And decent save. Wasn't too hard. Nice height for him. And then, yeah, blasted over the bar from Clark. But, uh, yeah, I mean, amazing. He's come to Leeds, who've been so stingy at home. And we've managed to score three goals. It's just, just fantastic. Norwich, uh, Leeds have only lost two home league matches so far this season. Birmingham and Hull have won here, and Norwich are 10 minutes away from what would be a famous win. I remember them winning 4 0 here a few years ago in the, the Premier League era. Jeremy Goss scored that famous volley. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they, yeah. They've had some great days here, Norwich, over the years. One hit, two nil. The thing is, they're well worth it. They're well worth this, this, this lead. You know, Leeds were looked really dangerous the first 30 minutes or so, but Norwich have well deserved this, you know, to be 3 0 up. Krull's had virtually nothing to do and, and Norwich have just been so economical in front of goal, they really have. Throw into Norwich, halfway inside the Leeds half. Yeah. And uh, Rob Butler's just pointing at you, trying to tell you something there. He spotted something Fans over on the far side. Yeah, he's right. We, you've got, well, this, it's easy to spot because they, this was a packed house. So when somebody leaves, you can really tell because you see the empty blue <laughs> plastic seats. Now, and yeah. there are over on that far side. I mean, Stranger things have happened, so don't, don't write off a, a Leeds comeback yet, but there's no sign of it in the moment. Norwich have been brilliant. Steeperman, challenge, loses possession, deep inside the Leeds. Oh, Schreiber, what, what a challenge, what a challenge, and, and then he wins it again. Norwich really do mean business here. Here's O'Neill Hernandez, races into the Shoot. penalty area. Hernandez turning one way, then the other, can't get the shot away. He's been tackled and Leeds will bring it away. They are giving this everything. Steepman wins it on the edge of the box. Finds Hernandez, who puts the shot wide. That really would have put the icing on the cake. I'll tell you what, Tom tribal has been quietly brilliant today. The tackles he's won have been absolutely phenomenal. And not one just there. He literally won the ball so hard it nearly took the lad's leg off. He was lying on the floor wondering if his leg, leg had come away at the hit. But uh, it's just been a, a fantastic performance and I think it's worth reminding really you again this is, this is only Tribal's eighth league start of the season and know, that's the strength that Norwich have in depth absolutely he's probably only playing because Tetty's out of the team although as I say that Tetty's about to come on so is Kenny McLean down below us Onel Hernandez on halfway for Norwich City who are 3-0 up at Elland Road extraordinary stuff Norwich fans hope their team would give a, a good account of themselves today hope they might perhaps get a point hope they might even sneak a win but they didn't imagine this 3-0 up with eight minutes to go. Here's Jamal Lewis. On to Puki. Cushion pass. Hernandez bearing down on the penalty area, but Pontus Janssen's beaten him to it. Doesn't want the goalkeeper to take it there, Janssen. Casilla, the keeper, now does play it after getting the back pass towards the right-back position. Challenge made. Free kick. Foul by Steepman. He's going to go in the book there, isn't I think. Which is perhaps a little harsh. The yellow card well, it is out. a bit harsh, but, I mean... I don't know, the referees just decided to start handing yellow cards out now, which is a bit strange. Because it wasn't a malicious foul, it was it was just stopping them from going forward, really. But uh, Tetty's coming on. Yep, Tetty will replace Tom Tribal. He was just singing his praises, Tribal. He's just put in that wonderful challenge. Maybe a little bit short of match fitness because he's not played much this season. No. Tetty will go on to try and steady the ship for these final seven minutes. Well, I'll tell you what, the last game I saw him, he missed that great chance. At Hull. Yeah. Hull. Um, but today he's been absolutely immense. He really has. He's not not with the ball, but winning the ball back. He's just been absolutely amazing. I think in that game he was actually trying to play the Leitner role, wasn't it? Yeah, he was. was. He was trying it. to be a bit more of a playmaker. But he's he's played today as Alexander Tetti really. He, he's been absolutely amazing. As have Norwich. Three 0 to get uh, all to, of them. Seven minutes. Absolutely to go. all of them. Vrancic at the double. And Norwich, wow, Leeds have possession, Cooper, the defender, looks for Barry Douglas on the left-hand side, he comes chasing forward into the Norwich half, gets the pass away to Alioski, Alioski comes in field, desperate times for Leeds United, Kimar Roof, rolls it to Bamford, gets it back here Roof, on to Alioski, he's a long way out, Norwich have plenty back, that's a poor pass from Alioski, looking for Douglas on the left-hand side and it's gone out for a throw in, Norwich are managing the game carefully here, they've got they had three subs ready to come on, McLean, uh, Tetty and Rhodes. And what they're doing is they're just not, instead of making all the changes at the yeah, same time, time, they're just eating up the time. One at a time. And Buendia is going to come off now, and he will take the applause of the away supporters 
and on will come Kenny McClay. Great time to come on this, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, him again, Buendia, he's been amazing. I can't praise them all enough, to be honest. It's been an absolutely amazing performance. They've, every single one of them has worked so hard, but with that work rate, they've been so skillful and inventive and looked so dangerous. Uh, full of praise for them, absolutely. Norwich City 3-0 up at Leeds. We've got five minutes to go. Ball helped on by Alioski. Max Ahrens trying to prevent them from getting forward. It's come for Alioski. Eventually, Alioski gathers it on the left-hand side. Nice touch. Down goes one of the Leeds attackers there, and a free kick. It's Bamford who's gone down, I think, and a free kick not far outside the left corner of the penalty area. Leeds giving this one last go now. Five to play. Leeds nil, Norwich three. And Norwich will bring Jordan Rhodes on in a moment. A player with six goals against Leeds in his career. Doesn't necessarily need to score today, but will no. come on and, and do a job for his team, I'm sure, nice as he always did, does. <laughs> but if they get a four. Always like seeing goals, don't we? Douglas. He's got mud splattered all over the back of his white shirt, Barry Douglas, as he works the free kick into the penalty area, headed wide. That was actually a really, really good chance. Yeah. I think it was uh, Ailing coming Bam in on the... yeah. Well, Bamford was there as well, and uh, again, we he don't was. have the replay, but it looked as if they sort of got in each other's way. Maybe, but it was a good free kick, and he, he found himself in a bit of space, and it was a free header, and he headed it well wide, thankfully, but uh, that was a good chance. Well, when Timu Puki plays, Timu Puki scores. He's uh, only really had one chance today, he took it, strange one, when a lot of uh, the fans in the ground thought the play had stopped, Puki played to the whistle, put the ball into the net, he's going off, and Jordan Rhodes will come on, and uh, Puki's turn to take the applause. Absolutely, he's always in the right place at the right time, isn't he? and that's, uh, that's the art of being a good goal scorer, and that's what he is. Uh, he works ever so hard as well, he really puts in a shift, so, you know, every single one of them, and him in, him in particular for all his goals, but... I just love the, I love the way he, he's always in the right place. and it, A lot of his goals are just little tap-ins, but they're the best goals. I, I love them goals. 36,524, the attendance. And uh, a lot of people watching on TV as well, up and down the country, and they all know that Norwich City are serious in the championship this season now. Free kick, uh, fouled by Jordan Rhodes. Free kick to Leeds, deep inside their own half, with three and a half minutes to go. Leeds nil, Norwich three. Mistake again by Leeds. McLean seizes possession, goes driving forward here, fresh legs, the substitute, carries it into the penalty area, tries to play it across the roads, it's blocked, and he'll just allow it to go behind for the corner, they're managing the game so well here, yeah. Norwich City, since, since the third goal, they've, okay. they've seen it out confidently. Uh, that was a mistake from Leeds, but Kenny McLean pounced on it, and he was quick then going forward, he left him for dead, and it was a nice little pass inside, but I'm looking for, uh, for Norwich, the, the Leeds player just managed to get something on it, and... Corner, corner, yeah. Left hand side, McLean to take. In the 88th minute, Norwich is 3 0 up at Elland Road. McLean delivers, whips it in towards the near post. Oh, and Brancic nearly got there. Cleared though by Leeds. Cleach blasted up the field. Zimmerman's there and just makes sure that, that there's no alarms. Puts it out for the throw in. That was old fashioned centre half, that wasn't it? <laughs> that was pretty rubbish, but uh, no time. We'll, we'll let him off. No need to blast it forward again <laughs> when you're 3 0 up with two and a half minutes to go. Leeds have taken the throw in and it's back with Cooper, halfway inside his own half. The ball goes to Janssen. Canary call after the game, Rob Butler and Mark Rivers will be taking your calls, 0800 3897 Mark Rivers is an experienced Canary call host uh, nowadays, but he's not done many in these circumstances. No, with no, Norwich no. fans feeling so good about themselves. Two minutes to go, plus stoppage time, Norwich are three up. The ball is with Ailing on the right-hand side. If you are just switching on, yes, Norwich are 3-0 up at Elland Road on BBC Radio Norfolk. Two for Vrancic, one for Puki. It's with Leeds on halfway and Janssen. Norwich just sitting back behind the ball. They've got the three-goal cushion to protect, but they've won it back now. Jamal Lewis on the left-hand side wins a throw in. I'm just so impressed with it. Actually, how Norwich have managed the second half because I said as we kicked off, I was expecting the kitchen sink from yeah. Leeds. We haven't really had it, have we? No, I, I was really expecting, you know, Leeds to be absolutely dominant in the second half, and they haven't been. And that's been down to Norwich breaking them down, winning the ball back, tribal, you know, Vrancic snapping at the heels and, and just getting it and, and and keeping Leeds at bay. Tim Krull's done absolutely nothing in the second half, and I, I really was expecting to have me my heart and my mouth every five minutes you know and it just hasn't materialised good defending again there from Vrancic but Leeds get it back 
It's on the edge of the penalty area with Bamford and now Ailing to Bamford into the box, plays it behind Roof. And Norwich that will clear with Brancic up towards halfway. Stieperman controls. Looks for Ernel Hernandez on the left hand side. The Norwich winger gives it back to Stieperman. Rolled confidently forward from him, but intercepted. And Leeds have it back. 30 seconds to go. Plus stoppage time. Norwich City are in a position of incredible strength here, leading by three goals to nil in the 90th minute at Elland Road. Here's Jensen and Cooper exchanging passes. Deep inside the Leeds half. Now Ayling. Not many teams have done this to Leeds this season. Remember, no. Leeds came to Carroll Road and won 3-0 back in August. That's well, been a perfect reply then, hasn't it? You know, they, I mean, when they beat us at home, they looked they look world beaters, didn't they? They were really, really dominant. Uh, and we just turned it round and, and we've been totally dominant today. Four minutes of stoppage time. There's bound to be at least one goal in stoppage time, given these two records this season. Here's Roof, gets the ball across from the right-hand side. Bamford's there and he's hit the bar. And Krull may well have tipped that over. That's a decent save from the Norwich goalkeeper. Yeah. And a corner is given. I'm not sure if he did, but uh, he's sort of holding his hands out while he's, yeah, he's high-fiving the Zimmerman, so maybe he did. Uh, it was actually a decent little shot on target there from uh, Bamford. And... Uh, Cruz made an important save. Corner. Four minutes of stoppage time to be played. We're into that. Corner played in from the right. High near post. Header is in. Bamford's got it. There is a goal in stoppage time. There was always going to be because there's been late drama in many games involving these two this season. Bamford pulls one back in the first minute of stoppage time. It's Leeds 1, Norwich City 3. A free header from a corner. Yeah, it's a shame actually because it's come from a decent save from Tim. And it was just a straightforward corner into the box. Free header. And unfortunately, we've conceded a goal. I was hoping we weren't going to, but we have. And never mind. Um, I mean, if anything, Daniel Farker will probably have a go at him for that, but hopefully he won't, because he's been absolutely brilliant. Well, the ground is ra rapidly emptied. Norwich, if it, Norwich are going to concede a goal today. They didn't deserve it to be one like that, but it just goes to show you've got to stay switched goal, on right until the end. It was a pretty poor goal to concede should concentrate the minds. Are we going to get late nerves even in this one? 3-1 <laughs> Norwich lead. The ball is with Cooper. He brings it up towards halfway. Cooper challenged by Rhodes, but he gets the pass away. Back it comes to Liam Cooper, now Janssen. A little bit more zip about Leeds now. They, they won't have given this up. Here's Cleach. Plays the ball to four short, halfway inside the Norwich half. Norwich keeping plenty of men back, protecting what is now a two-goal cushion. It goes to Ailing. Ailing finds four short. Forward he comes. Bamford, 25 yards from goal, twisting and turning, getting it forward to Cleach. Now four short. Bamford helps it on. It's in the Norwich penalty area once more. And Teddy whacks it away for a throw in. Suddenly, Norwich are hanging on a bit. 3 1 up. Yeah, it's just a bit of pressure from Leeds towards the end of the game, isn't it, really? And, you know, they're going to be. Well, they've left it really late, haven't they, to, to, to be putting this type of pressure on. Roof crosses into the Norwich penalty area. Godfrey will clear. And out for a throw-in. Tim Krull deserves a clean sheet today. So he did, yeah. It's I not going to happen, though. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think the defence more than him deserved a clean sheet. You know, the, the work that they put in, and Godfrey in particular coming in, he's, he's looked like a man mountain. He has next to Christoph Zimmerman. It's Cooper to Forshaw on the left-hand side. Forshaw for Leeds. Aims one through the middle. Chested down. It's going to fall for Alioski here, 25 yards out. Poor ball into the box. Jamal Lewis will clear up towards Jordan Rhodes on halfway. Rhodes chases the ball out towards the right hand side, and, uh, the Norwich left, I should say, and does enough to win the throw in off Janssen. That's yeah, what he's in the team. Yeah, to do. he used his experience there, didn't he? He's just leaned into the defender and made him head it out for a Norwich throw. So. Didn't touch uh, the ball, but no, didn't need to. No, <laughs> he, no, he didn't need to. No, he didn't need to. And uh, we've got a minute and 10 seconds left of the four minutes of stoppage time that was signalled. 3 1 Norwich lead. So many empty seats in the ground now. A lot of Leeds fans have given this up. But Rhodes trying to make it difficult for Cooper to clear, but Cooper has got enough about him to bring it up towards halfway. Then he's going to run straight into Steepman, who gets the challenge in and wins the ball uh, and wins the free kick as well as Cooper drags him back. And we are now in the final minute of stoppage time. Leeds 1, Norwich 3. And that Bamford goal shouldn't take too much of the gloss off it, should it? It's no, still been a great performance no, from Norwich City. No, absolutely not. It's just one of them. I think they just switched off a little bit from the corner, which was a shame. Uh, it would have been nice to win 3-0, but let's face it, we're going to get the three points anyway, and it doesn't really make much difference, does it? You know, it, it was it's just a, being a picky type of thing, isn't it? They did just switch off in the corner, but there's loads and loads and loads to be absolutely delighted with today. 
Krull will take this free kick for Norwich from in the centre circle, get as much distance on it as he can, and that's it! What a win for Norwich City! The Canaries mean business and they've shown that to everybody tonight in front of the TV cameras, in front of a packed house at Elland Road. Leeds were top of the table, but they simply couldn't live with Norwich City in this sort of form. Two for Brancic, a goal for Timu Puki as well. The Canaries have run out winners by three goals to one. A uh, little bit of afters uh, in the centre circle. I think Kamir Roof, who's been kind of a frustrated figure for much of this second half, has reacted. And it's just threatening to boil over a little bit now. We've got a lot of the officials and substitutes and other coaching staff on the pitch just making sure that nothing untoward goes on. But it doesn't matter too much what's happening now. The important fact tonight is that Norwich City have won this game by three goals to one. No wonder their fans are making all the noise down below us. Leeds absolutely frustrated, but Norwich City have come here and have proved to everybody that they are a force to be reckoned with in championship terms. They go top of the table, and what a way to do it. They've blown Leeds away by three goals to one at Ellen Road. What have you made of it, Mark Rivers? <laughs> Simply put, it was absolutely amazing. It's the best away performance I've seen from, from Norwich collectively as a whole team while I've been doing this, this, this cold commentaries, I think. Absolutely, every single one of them was amazing, brilliant, fantastic to watch, skillful as well as working hard, creating chances, scoring goals. I mean, both goalkeepers have not really made saves, but <laughs> that's because every time Norris got a chance, he scored. Uh, it's just been a fantastic game to watch. I'm totally proud of them. They've been amazing, every single one of them. I can't say that one of them was poor. They were all fantastic.